to... Hello and welcome to the first ever Frenemies Live. I am your host, Ethan Klein. With me, of course, is Trisha Paytas. The other host of Frenemies. The other host <laughs> with the most. Yeah, you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> what are we doing here today? Why are we here? We did an emergency Frenemies Live episode because, oh, I just punched <laughs> the mic. Hopefully people's ears didn't just explode. <laughs> um, Jeff Wittick, who is another Vlog Squad member, made a response video. It's kind of, how would you... But how would you rate this to, next to Scotty's response video? They're pretty. They're pretty equal. I would say. They're, I would say this might be Scotty. Might be like a three, and Corinne just might be like a one on a scale of one to ten. One being like the. So you think Jeff's is worse than Scotty? I think it's a lot worse. Yeah. So at least Scotty, like, and Scotty's, he's like, hey guys, you know, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. But Jeff's is a little worse, in my opinion, because what he does that really fired me up and made me want to go live is because he, first of all, blames you and the author for putting him in this situation. And I feel the people he should really be mad with are his friends, like David, who put him, and, then, and, and like Todd, who it seems Todd is the one that bought the alcohol, who's letting Jeff take the fall. Yeah, he was mad at me because he says... Trish is the one that brings us up. I'm like, I've always shared my story. I've shared this story before. And it's like other people have come forward. Like, I'm not, I'm not the one bringing this up. I'm not the one trying to like come for him, which he thinks. And I don't know. I just was like, yeah, I was, I was really upset that it like, because it's easy to put it on me, but it's not about me, which is like really annoying. And he texted me, like we had a phone call last week. He texted me this morning and he like, I just felt like he didn't get it. So when he's like, I'll, I'll call in, I thought, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he gets it. So that's why I was like, well, maybe it makes sense to do this with you. I feel like you're a little more maybe unattached to this than I am. I don't know, a little more removed from it. But I just am like, I don't think he gets it or maybe. Well, to be frank with you, I don't think he read the article based on his response video. I really genuinely yeah. don't. I, there's really no other way to explain some of the things he says. Right. Because he said, I'm the only one saying that they left to go get the alcohol when in fact, that's not true. <laughs> He's clearly been accused by the sober friends. It's several of the witnesses there that night who spoke to insiders saying him and Todd returned with alcohol that whatever whatever uh, we're gonna watch his response video okay and then he's gonna call in to give his side of the story he does also kind of skip around the part of like what happened after he's so focused on like well maybe Trisha bought the alcohol you know that kind of stuff where it's like it's kind of also more of like the fact that he stuck around after oh yeah that was so out of it. hand yeah like you're I don't know who bought the alcohol I have that tweet should maybe I pull it Tr- up I was like, well, he goes there. I don't know who bought the alcohol maybe it was Trisha that bought the alcohol <laughs> that's literally nobody said that except for you and also like yeah Here, I me- just I don't know I just here, here's the tweet we're referring to. So I'm sure this is going to come up. Can they see this, Dan? Yes, can. Okay. Oh, yeah. He says, he says, maybe Dom bought it. Maybe you bought it. <laughs> maybe one of the underage girls <laughs> bought it. I'm just saying it definitely wasn't me or Todd. Nobody told me shit. I thought it was a consensual bit. Sorry, I didn't say hi at Starbucks uh-huh. that one time. Of course, insinuating <laughs> that you're trying to ruin his life because he didn't say hi to you at Starbucks. Which isn't even the case with the Starbucks incident. Not that it matters. Girl, don't you... He literally saw hey, me and ran I, out. I'll tell you what. If I see you in Starbucks, I'm definitely saying hi. I don't want you to fuck my life up over something like that. Jeff is like... <laughs> if you see Trisha in Starbucks, you best say fucking hi. He ran out without his coffee. They called Jeff, and I saw him run out in the mirror, and he just, like, ran out in the back. He didn't even get his coffee. So he's just a coward because, like, basically they were all Why scared to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is funny that he saw you and just It's bounced. funny. That's why I said it in my What story. did he leave behind? How much food did he leave? It was a coffee and a sandwich. And he just left it? He just left it. Because they called his name later and he wasn't there to get it? So I'm behind him. He sees me. He's already ordered. He's in the back. I can see in the reflection of the window him, like, moving back out. And then they call Jeff. So I look back because he's not getting it. And I was just like, oh, he's not even here. So I saw him leave. And then I was like, oh, he literally just left his coffee. We got to talk about that because that seems... <laughs> I want to get to the actual truth of what happened with the Starbucks incident. Because then he tried to go on, a, on his podcast saying, like, I don't respect her. I'm like, no, you were scared. Like, if you didn't respect, like, it was not that I said hi to him. I wasn't going to say hi to him either. I was like, oh. Yeah, you can just, you don't have just to run. Just go get your coffee, yeah. you know? Like, it's not. You could, you know what I mean? Anyways. But anyway, so he's going to call in after we look over this, share it opinion. It should also be noted, like, I know that people will say it's not a big deal, but it is. Like, he is also, he's older than me. So at the time, he was, like, 30. And these girls are, you know, 20-year-old fangirls of David. Like, he should know better in the situation. I knew better. I was like, this is not a situation to be in. Like, we should probably, like, leave. And th- the fact right, that. Right, right. Like, and I will, 
I, I'll, he says he'll stand on like you know take it to the grave whatever mine too i stand by it that david did ask jeff after his and todd and jeff said i'll get it whether he got it or not i wasn't there and i said that to him i wasn't right, there for right. that that girl who was there claims it and we don't i don't know that girl we've never talked i didn't know it before the article i actually just found it this morning to see if she said it. i'm like no i swear someone else said it and i saw it so that was mine i don't know yeah, well there's a there's a um I want to watch this video, but Kat had a lot of interesting and receipts. The author, who he called out a lot, but regarding who got the alcohol, if I play, listen to this. Yeah, like whiskey for himself. I don't see how that is. Like, I mean, that could be misconstrued to that Todd bought alcohol for a party, but it's all like, you know. Uh, yeah, so, I got targeted exactly. by alcohol. Exactly. So he tried to he tried to slam dunk on Cat by being like, I've got all these receipts. So Cat's like, okay, well, I recorded the conversation too, dude. So here he is saying, listen closely. Forget, like whiskey for himself. Todd bought whiskey for himself. Doesn't mean he bought alcohol for the party. I don't see how he that did buy alcohol. Like, I mean, they did leave to go get alcohol. To that Todd bought alcohol for it sure party, fucking sounds like it to me. Oh, like you know, right. And he also keeps saying if people don't speak, then they're guilty, and that's why he's speaking. It's like Todd hasn't spoken. Jay's not like you know. You what should I mean? be like, mad at your Todd and fucking David for letting you take the brunt of shit. Like the fact that you're, you're, you're. Anyway, we should watch it because maybe a lot of people sponsors and Todd doesn't do anything, so he's not losing shit. But at the same time, can I say I've never had a vendetta? Like I don't, not even a vendetta against anyone. But I don't. I've never had even a, a beef with Jeff. Like the fact that he thinks I've never had an issue. Of all the people in the group, I've called him out, Todd. Brandon Calvillo, David, and Jason. Those are the four people. I didn't know Dom like this at all, obviously, at the time. But, like, obviously, I would group him on that, too. But the four people I've continuously called out are those people. And never mm -hmm. once was it Jeff. Because I don't think Jeff is as creepy as those other guys. I think it was a poor choice for him to partake in this bit. And he should, right. you know, get the repercussions of it because it's gross. And that's why we left. I was like, this is not going to be good. Like, you're 30. You should know this. But I also think at the same time, like, he's not as creepy as Todd, Brandon, David, and Jason. So I'll right. just say that for the record. Like, I don't think J and I Jeff's agree. the worst. And my initial reaction to his involvement was like, I get that he's in this unfortunate situation. And if he just lays his fucking head low and just minds his own bit, like he's not the main perpetrator here. You know what I told him? Cause we had a, we had about an hour phone call on uh, last Tuesday. And I said to him, I said, you know, and he apologized, me, but he didn't need to apologize to me. I kept telling him like, why are you apologizing to me? I said, it's more just like own up rather than like deflecting on me saying Trisha's crazy, all this stuff or deflecting on top, whatever, just own up to like, I was, that was a shitty situation. Like I'm so fucking embarrassed to be a part of it. And but, like, nobody can like just own up to even David himself. Right. They can't just say like, fuck, that was yeah. so like, you know, what would have been the best if he just said, I regret being involved. I should have known better. I should have never been there. That I, I was totally unacceptable. I'm just, you know what? I, I'm, I'm ashamed. I shouldn't have been yeah. there. Yeah. That's it. But like, so now, so anyway, the reason that I felt compelled to do this on short notice to do this live is because I saw him. He literally puts the reporter's Twitter in his video and says she should be fired and is indirectly encouraging his audience to go like harass her because he said she printed lies which that witness gave her that thing which that i don't Todd... think he even read the article so no. now i'm saying we we actually need to correct the record here because this is not right what he's done in his video so that's why we're here i'm going to watch the, we're going to watch the video go ahead jeff in that response video is like so different than the jeff i talked to on tuesday like again i don't know jeff i do not know him like this at all but like he was so different in that video where he seemed actually remorseful and like scared and like all like oh my god like i can't believe i did this shit as opposed to the video where he's trying to like go on me go on her and i'm just like like he's so worried about losing his sponsors and the whole thing and it's like this girl got like you know there was like a serious Something issue. terrible happened. Yeah, I think losing a sponsor is like, okay, in this situation. Like, that's the least you could, re you know. Well, he feels like, I didn't do anything. Why is this happening? But you me? did. You partook but you, in that. you just, you got, yeah. I mean, look, nobody's, nobody was really literally directly blaming you. You could, you, listen, dude, you fucked up with this video, bro. Here. It's like you were there. It's like, just take accountability of it. Like. Because I think what he's doing, he's trying to still protect his friend. And, and that's, that's what's so getting gross. him in trouble. Oh, God, Everyone's so just gross. doing it. this old boys club where nobody wants to say anything. I said that. I said, you need to stop protecting, protecting Todd and David because they are problematic. And there, there was one, did you get the t tweet about Todd saying like, you know, he encouraged someone to gangbang his ex-girlfriend, Corinna. He's like, yeah, as no. many people, it was on, I think it's on Kat's Twitter today. And someone's like, oh, how many, like how many guys would you like have sex with Corinna? He's like, they can all gangbang her for all I care. Like it's like Who? a repeated Todd. So he has like a repeated Wait, history. Wait, he was dating Corinna and he wanted dudes to. After he was dating her. Like oh. someone's like, well, anyways, there's a repeated behavior. Jeff included. There's Jeff went on to tell say that people with mental illness shouldn't have a social media platform. Like there's like repeated behavior of these people that like are really like nasty and gross. And it's like, hey, like maybe you've grown from it, but uh, like take some.
when he talked to me, he said he was going through some serious shit, and he can, obviously he'll be on later. Maybe he'll say it. And I was like, okay, so in this case, it's time for you to reflect because he's like, I can understand why you would have a breakdown because he was there at the hospital, and he's like, oh, at first I just thought like you were on drugs and shit and crazy, and he's like, now I understand where you were coming from, and I was like. Okay, well then, if you have some sort of compassion, like at least have compassion for this girl, and and just know that you were there, like. Oh, you know that reminds me of the other clip that came, there's so many new clips that came out about David, the David situation. Honestly, of girls who saying they were in a similar situation where they were being given alcohol and they were underage and yada yada. There's like, dude, go on TikTok. There's like 20 yeah, viral girls videos. Passed out but at there was there was one really interesting one. Let me see if I've got it here where. It's a lot of everything you've said is being like continually corroborated. For example, you told a story about how um, David kept trying to push you guys to be in a threesome, you and Jason, and you started taking off your clothes because you didn't want him to use the footage. Mm -hmm, yeah. And he continued. And well, the video surfaced. Do you, it's, oh, you've, you're highlighting it. Thank you so much. I got it right here. This is, is this it? Tana just called actually she wanted to Tana, did you have yeah. three sound? and so he keeps going on and on about how consent is so important to him here you are you're you're so far from consenting yeah. you're taking off a clothes in an effort to make the footage I, unusable yeah I said this so many times in and the he, clip and cut around it he blurs it and then posts it to make you look like you're crazy here. of course yeah. uh, Tana just called actually she wanted to <laughs> I take my clothes off. I take my clothes off in this bit. Like, I fucking go. I lose my shit. Put your fucking clothes off. It's not funny. It's you want to have a Tana joke? I'm going to have David said that. I didn't say anything. Why did you take your clothes off? Because I didn't want him to use it in the in the vlog. I'm like, if I get completely naked, he can't use it. You'll see. He, like, leaves it in and, like, blurs it out. Yeah. Guys, her dress is literally off. She's laughing. I just, I don't <laughs> <think> <laughs> right. is literally off. Love beat. Like, he has no, he doesn't, he has no boundary. No, and he stopped using it for six, like for, for about three months after that. He never just said the Tana thing. And it got brought up that week, that final week before I like did my video on him or whatever. But yeah, he, he stopped after that because I kept saying, don't use it. It's not funny. Um, but there's so much here, though. It's like, oh, just girl I mean, after girl after girl at this point. But literally everything you've ever said has been totally corroborated. Everything. And they have worked overtime to just characterize you as some crazy girl yeah. who just has, who's just out for revenge. But every single footage and everything that's come out has 100% vind has supported everything you say, that these guys are dangerous, that they're flirting with disaster, yeah. they're putting people in dangerous situations. And more and more... It shows that your concerns are genuine. But and they and well founded. The, when yeah. I made the video, like everyone has this like preconceived thing that like I was already dumped and Jason already broke up with me, so I was like this ex girlfriend that was bitter. It's like no, like me and Jason shot a music video the day before I made that video. Like mm. we were, but then when they put that bit in again with Tana and I think Madison Beer when they were like eighteen years old and Jason's back there being creepy. Then I was like, you know what? And I and I reached out to David and Jason and, and Jason said, um, he, I remember him telling me like I'm going to sleep and blocking like I'm blocking like I, oh he didn't say I'm blocking you. He was like I'm going to talk to you later about this. And this was seven a.m. I text David. He's on a plane to Chicago. He's like oh now he said it was okay. So like fuck off. Basically basically, is how he said it. So that's when I made the video. I was like, fine, nobody wants to talk to me about this. Like, I'll make a video. And I had all my... But I had brought up Brandon before. I had brought up Todd's behavior before. And all of them were totally fine with, like, other things in the group. Hmm. And, yeah, it is. It's so easily proven. Just like the Brandon thing, being dating a 17-year-old, like, that was proven. Like, I'm not saying shit that's, like untrue why would i leave i loved being in that relationship with jason like i knew making that video i would be out of it but like i did it because it was so there was just like it was too much it was getting to be too much and too out of control and right. um like like yeah there's one thing about me coming like dramatic i'm not gonna like lie on someone that's very easily proven they could obviously sue me i'm not scared to be sued because everything i've said is true like and, and it's clearly this <laughs> incident clearly if you're paying attention to what's going on on tiktok and twitter and all the viral videos going around is that this wasn't a one-time incident this is a pattern of behavior over many years yeah and i think that everyone keeps missing this issue because of these distractions like scott and jeff like david is like perpetuating these for the vlog like he's making this happen he says in the vlog that's not a joke to say these girls weren't into it and then after a while they're into it now yeah. like that's not that's not funny right. that's not a joke that's like and to even like if you're joking and pretending to look in like why would you even want to be a part of that like sh look i don't know exactly it's, just, it's david and david's okay. done this multiple times like he's given people alcohol he says it. there's another twitter i think deaf noodles just tweeted it today about david saying this is all my alcohol this is how i get all my good footage when my friends are drunk like he admits to it time and time again and the weird the weird dude I'll tell you right now, red flag, a dude who doesn't drink, who's getting everyone around him drunk. Mm -hmm. Why is he getting everyone? Why is he wanting to hang out with everyone who's drunk and he's sober? Right. That is someone who is...
taken advantage of David is him. David's 100%. I hated that his lawyers were like, David's not at fault. I'm like, David posted that. If this was all a joke and they didn't know what was that, like, why would he even post the footage if it was even questionable? Because it's Dom. It's like, why? They continued to shoot with Dom, including Jeff in 2019 right. after this incident. Like, so if it's even questionable, if it's even brought up, like, he bragged about it a few days later, how they all looked in on him having sex. Like, it was in... Well, also, one of the big uh, holes in in all their stories, which I'll pull up, is that David knew about this because I'm trying. Can you highlight maybe the text message that that uh, Dom got? David got this text message through Dom. The victim sent Dom a text message about a year and a half ago when David deleted this film. This this vlog. Why did David delete this vlog? Because he knew that the girl, one of the girls that Dom had slept with, had sent him a text messaging um, accusing him of the artwork of a horrible thing. Yeah. Right. So this whole I, notion that David didn't even know is is factually uh, factually incorrect. Right. Based on that text yeah, message. Yeah. Of course. No. Okay, so anyway, let's watch Jeff's video. Here's and one more. Go one ahead. more thing. One yeah, more thing to say is like I I don't know. Cat Jeff kept saying when he had the phone calls with me on Tuesday, which I'm now thinking he probably recorded because he said you could record this, and I was like I don't record phone calls, but he probably did. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But he had said something like I know like Cat's your friend. Like I don't know Cat. She's not my friend. Yeah. Well, I did one interview with the insider about me like maybe a year ago. They've reached out to me so many times. I've never reached back out to them. This particular incident, I've talked about multiple times, and I was. I was so in support of this girl coming out with her story and I was there. So it was something I could comment. Usually I don't comment like on Jeffree Star, like all that stuff. I don't comment because like, I don't really give a shit, but like this was something like so serious and something that I you were there. said. You're in the I video. Was there. Yeah. I've talked about it around she, it. Dude, Jeff, she reached out to everybody in the video. Like yeah. you're in the video. You were there. That's a reasonable thing. I'm not thing. friends with this person. Like, I mean, I liked her article and I, I support the article, but it's not like I'm friends. Like I was like, yeah, go get them. Like, you know right. what I mean? It's like, well, also if you read the article, which I don't think you did, Trisha is cited very little yeah like there's like one paragraph where they right. quote you right but, it's such a long article i was like okay so before we watch just video he makes accusations and cat the author cat released he keeps taking snippets of their co private conversation that he recorded and so she posted the whole thing here i'll just play it for you before we watch this video It's from Trisha. It's also from the other girls. Like, they remembered that David had asked Jason to go buy the alcohol, and then Trisha told Jason, like... So remember this, because he keeps saying in his video, only I'm only in this because of Trisha. And this is proof that he knew before he made this video that the accuser specifically named him. Don't buy the alcohol. And then they said that you and Todd left and came back with, like, a bottle of, I think, Jack... And I do know, like, I, I have, like, the video, like, I've watched the video, so, like, it was, the like, the, it was, like, you and Todd and, like, that whole group was yes, there. Yeah. I don't know, like, if you remember anything specific no, around that. I did not. A hundred thousand percent I'll take to the grave. I'll make it take me up court. Take the secret to the grave. <laughs> okay. There is another... Trisha, Trisha will, will say things where she says one truth. Did you, are you not hearing where she said the other people named you? It's crazy. Why is he so obsessed with you? Like, this is not having to do with you. Because I look crazy. People think yeah. I'm like, obsessed with yeah. the vlog He's, spot. And, exactly. But I feel like now it's like, I'm not happy about it, but it is like a relief that people just don't think that I'm like this bitter, like I'm totally fine in life now. And I told him that on the phone too. He was just like, okay, well, J and I'm like, I don't really care about anything other well, than like. Well, these guys have been on a brutal, um character assassination against you for these past years to discredit because you've been one of the vocal people speaking out against them so it's oh trisha's crazy she's obsessed she's just mm -hmm. angry because of jason the relationship <laughs> with jason but um everything you've said is proven so you have a right to feel relieved because so people would be like oh my god she was telling the truth this whole time yeah yeah jeff was just like i was so pissed because you lost jason brand deals and i was like Jason told me to apologize to Brandon for dating a minor. I was not okay. He's like, if you apologize to Brandon, I'm like, I, Jason's like awful in this situation. The Tannis, everything. I was just like, he's awful. He's done gross shit. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care because, like, you're shitty people. Girl, three lives in there. And then, like, I mean, the was there the day when they were filming because I, I kind of just met those guys around that time. I was filming with them a lot, but I've never bought underage girls alcohol. I figured that was the case. So 
still he I don't think he's lying. I think what he's saying is Todd bought it. But he still found the time he told me he went on a hike with Todd last Tuesday, so he's just covering. <laughs> well, you well he thinks well Todd bought the alcohol for himself. It doesn't mean that he got it for this girl. Well, too. did he buy the alcohol for himself or did he not have alcohol? Just Which say, is it? but like yeah, you just got to own it at this point. Yeah, because it's okay. Just, so you're there was the alcohol whole, yeah. there. You guys brought it back. Maybe yeah. it wasn't directly for the girls, but. <laughs> but I'm sorry. It's, it's I like lies. I like to think that if I was 30 years old in that situation and there was minors there drinking, that, were fans. that I wouldn't be that I wouldn't be comfortable with that. That's exactly. Like, how old are you guys? Okay, why, why, and then you're filming them and all that. It's like, guys, this is, this is, we got to sp- I mean, put the pedal here. We got to hit pump the brake on this. Exactly. I was like, like and we got to stop. Somebody has got to be the fucking adult. Yeah. I mean, the only thing you can do because they were also, I mean, I was just like, I remember because some people were like, Trisha, why didn't you say anything? It's like, they were like adults and they were like fangirls. But as soon as there was like drinking involved on people, I was like, okay, you got to leave. Don't but, go buy yeah, the alcohol. I mean, that's proof that, that, that like there was, you sense there was something wrong. Of course. And I, I mentioned this before, even before this article came out. I've mentioned this for years, this specific incident. And Todd was there was a clip from uh, I don't know what video it was. It might have been on like the barbershop series. There was a clip of you and Todd talking about how like you had gone to get it, but you didn't want to. So then Todd ended up getting it like the it was like you guys had gone together. Like David had asked you to get it. You were there. You were like, I feel really uncomfortable doing this. And then Todd was ultimately the one who ended up buying the alcohol. He was there. What? He's in the what? video. He's literally in the video, peeking into the room, saying, "I'm feeling horny right now." And then he also says, "Yeah." Oh, how? Yeah. Why are you saying that he wasn't there? What are you talking about? I, I don't even drink alcohol myself. I don't support it. You know, I, I mean, like, I, I'm not against people drinking, but like, I don't have alcohol in my house. I don't. Dude, that, that that's not a defense. Do you think it's possible? Yeah, I totally, totally get that. Yeah, I totally get that. I I know Todd was there because like he's in the video and everything. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think it's possible that like Todd was the one who bought the alcohol? I don't think so. Okay. I know Todd drinks himself, so and Todd drinks too. Like it's okay. not like he's like. Oh, he said it was twenty minutes apart, and his. Uh, uh, dude, you're a fucking bonehead, bro. <sighs> <laughs> it's just it's anyway so it that's sucks that because like you said like todd i think is a creep brandon and david jason but like i really don't think jeff i've never seen anything inappropriate with him with girls or anything i think he's really like that so it's like weird that he's once again just like scott these like clean people are inserting themselves like you're pretty exactly clean. Like, scott and and scott and and jeff could have just fucking rode this out and been fine but somehow part of this cult they feel that they need to throw themselves in in front of the bus. Well, what Jeff told me, and he, I mean, I didn't record him, but he said I could record him, so I guess it's not off the record, but he did tell me, like, he's trying to distance himself from, like, filming with the group. So I don't know, I don't know what this is. Like, I guess maybe he's still friends with Todd because he didn't want, I don't know what it is because he said he's not, like, because I'm like, why are you defending them so hard? Like, he said, if Jason asked me to do it reluctantly, like, he's very, like, trying to distance himself, which is good, but also, why did he do this whole video? Like, I don't know. It was so weird. And that's getting paid. Is there a technical issue? I saw someone say they can't hear me, but that doesn't seem to be right. Okay, okay. People are trolling. All right, so let's watch Jeff's video. It's a slog, but I think it's important because what's a slog? It's like a we're gonna have to group, we're gonna have to uh, put on our swamp boots and uh, tread through this. <laughs> Um, but we're going to watch it because I think it's important to make sure that this conversation doesn't get derailed, which is what's happening here. <laughs> because if you yeah. go, like all the, da- the David stands are saying, I knew it. This, this, it's making me doubt the whole story. So wow. saying, they start to say shit like that. It's making me doubt the whole story. So because, because Kat and the story, she never lied and the story has never changed. Okay, let's watch this. This is not how I planned this. This is... Uh... This is a big announcement. Well, part of it. I was waiting for this. You to- noticed this. this is kind of funny. Oh. Why does he have two cameras? It's so dramatic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why would the camera change, bro? I love it. Oh, you think he's hiding cuts? You're so right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, you're right. He's hiding the cuts. People know how to do apology videos. You need to just be like on the floor, looking ugly. On the bathroom floor, bro. <laughs> Take a note from the girl who's trying to ruin your life, apparently. Allegedly. Yeah. Part of it. 
I was waiting for this to be that done. That wasn't a cut, though. And I had a <laughs> I couple eye yet. surgeries. Get him for the side? Okay, get him for the side. that part of my life private. <laughs> cut to the side shot and, and that's forward? why I wasn't on camera. I was trying to hide my eye looked pretty gnarly after the surgeries and it's still getting better so i was planning on coming back when the time was right and the set was right and i could um get back to my old self unfortunately uh, a couple of days ago an article came out with unfortunately this is funny unfortunately the article came out how awful that a girl spoke up yeah. about something traumatic that Not happened unfortunately, to her. Unfortunately, something happened that was written about. And I want to believe, like these, you know, I'm these people, you know, they come out when they feel like that it's like okay to because now that Seth being like so many people are coming out, like more even TikTok, more and more people oh are coming God. out stories. It's a, it's a waterfall. Because now it's yeah. not David's in power because he was like, look at what happened to me. As soon as I went against David, everyone's just like. Trisha sucks. I got like canceled by everybody that year, but it's like I think now it's it's cool that these people. Also, did he put that watch the whole twenty minute, or is that he put that? that? No, he put the that. watermark yeah. thing. Oh, we're not going to take anything out of context today, <laughs> Jeff. We're going to watch the whole mother loving video. <laughs> Where some pretty horrible things were said, and I felt the need to address them because my name was in the article and I'm associated with these horrible, horrible acts and I am completely 100% innocent. I spoke to a reporter before that article was published just to clear my name, just because. So he's saying I'm 100% innocent. That's, he's already gone a foul. Right. You were there, yeah. there was underage drinking. Like, mm. why are you trying, you're not. just like you have to own some, you have to take some accountability. To say you're 100% innocent yeah. in this clip where you're like, yeah. 100% like innocent would be, you weren't even there that night. You didn't even know anything happened. Okay, that's 100% innocent. So that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, you have to take some accountability, yeah, I, even a little bit. I I feel guilty by association just being around David and like supporting him for so long because even the stuff with Brandon, I'm like, I kind of went along with it because you just want to be cool in the group for a while. And you're like, you're, I'm guilty to some degree, not in this case, but I feel like in a lot of situations, like, yeah, I'm like guilty by association just being right. with David and like hyping him up and right. covering, uh, covering for him, really. Right. Like, and that's what these people are doing. And it's... I mean, it's just, it's a ludicrous statement. You're not 100% innocent. You're no. in the video. Like, there's proof. Like, you're there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody's blaming you for what happened. Yeah, you're not going to jail. You know what I mean? I, I guess you would have. I had no guilt. And, uh, you know, everyone advised me not to talk to reporters because they'll twist your words. And even in my past experience with getting arrested, they'll always tell you, do not say anything because you'll incriminate yourself. And you only make things worse, and you are proof <laughs> proof of that being true. You clearly understand the concept, but uh, yeah. Well, here's me telling you that again, Jeff. Don't say anything. <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty. But in the internet world, I feel like you're guilty until proven innocent. So if I sit here and stay quiet and try to solve this over tweets. I'm just going to screw up more and well, that was also look dumb. like more yeah. of an idiot <laughs> because uh, you guys can't see my face, one, and two, I am pretty bad at explaining myself. So I'll probably fuck up a lot here and I'll probably be picked apart, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to do it because I have nothing to hide. Backwards. I'm completely innocent. Oh, is he sitting backwards yeah. in the chair? Yeah. Huh. That's pretty bad. Is That's like, pretty cool. Is this like... That's a cool new look for an apology video. I mean, he looks... Cool. Jeff is definitely looks cool. And also, what is Jeff FM? Is that his new podcast? Or is he promoting the new? I don't know if he was saying it wasn't out yet. He I've wasn't ready to set. announce it. It looks good. But that backwards chair is fucking cool as hell. Maybe I'm changing my opinion about him. He does Maybe look he cool. Innocent. Maybe he is 100% innocent. <laughs> oh, uh, he's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can't do it in continue. that chair. You can't do it. Oh, no, shit. you need an office chair. No. Has anyone got a chair I can sit back? Just sit on there? your knees. No. Second, I think we're. Uh, <laughs> okay. Did we lose it? I can't pull it off. I think we're buffering. Oh no. We're buffering. That was... Yeah, your internet is being. Yikes! You buffer it'll, a lot. It'll be back. Oh. It just usually just takes a second. That's oh, annoying. No. <laughs> so annoying. One second. Hey, do you have an internet router down here? Uh, we do. We're, we're hard lined in. Yeah. Oh. No, it just it just sometimes. Drops out for a um. second. Fucking <sighs> shitty internet. So this might get picked up, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's just weird. I'm just you can hear me? It's working. Does any? Do you not have the stream open, Dan? <laughs> so is it working? I'm hearing you when you said you were hard lining. Oh. So it's like coming in and out. Okay. Delay. Fresh. One second. 
Uh, yeah, do you see it either? It's choppy. it's choppy. Okay. You're choppy. Oh, that's the worst. This is the worst part about going live. Okay, are we back? <laughs> Guys, sorry, my internet took a dump. F, 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 in F, the F, chat. F. <laughs> this is the worst thing about going live. I thought L's were the thing you give people who are losers. Well, we definitely take the L and the F on this one. <laughs> I love that. I never knew that. So are we officially back, Dan? Oh, yeah, it's still spiraling. Well, but do you see it? Yeah, but I mean, Ela's seeing it where you're here. What is everyone typing in the chat? It's going so fast, I literally can't even read it. I can read them faster here. We are waiting for the stream to reestablish. That's what they're saying. I can hear myself asking you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's periodically coming in and out. It's lagging. I can hear us discussing it on the stream. This is the worst. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Okay, so what I was doing before the stream rudely cut is I was saying I should do... Oh, I was just getting quit. We should do the... <laughs> no, you should do it. You look cooler doing it. We should do this an analysis with a backwards a chair. chair. I think you need like an office chair. Because like... Yeah. First of all, I'm not even. I'm not as close to as cool as Jeff. First of all, straight definitely off. not. And then second of all, if he's gonna come at me well, with a backwards chair. How the fuck am I ever you, gonna rebut? You anything are cooler said? than Jeff. You just don't look as cool as Jeff. But you you're cooler cool? than him. Yeah, you're like nice and respectful, and you don't. I have like, a Rolls Royce. He doesn't. Loser. <laughs> just kidding. Broke ass Jeff. No, no, Jeff. I mean, well, no, he refuses to take down those sponsorships. <laughs> he's not losing that coin. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't pull off the backwards chair. Okay, okay so we are officially back. <laughs> Oh, Dan no. is saying we're not back. <laughs> they're, they're watching us. So let's just take a moment here. Say what up. We're lagging a little bit. Can we snip this part out after the fact? Yeah. Can you spam Trisha heads in there? In the spam line? everyone. Spam Trisha heads. <laughs> if you hear me. I Let's love get the those Trisha, Trisha heads in the chat. I love cool? them too. Yeah. I saw them on your last live. I was like, that's cool. We can add. Can we add more Trisha f <laughs> flares? Just all Trisha emojis. Well, we have like a hundred emojis now. Really? That's dope. Available slots. I mean, we don't. We have them all filled. So I'm saying, we can definitely work on some new Trisha flares. <sighs> we look like twins in our beanies. Our little round faces with the little beanies. Friend means beanies, by the way. First time being aired. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to do it tomorrow. I had a whole look plan. I hate not being glam. I look like a little... Also, you're wearing the Balenciaga meme shirt. You yeah. showed up. I was like, no, you're wearing the shirt. I've been wanting to wear this for you, but we've always had themes. So I've been like, oh, man. So, so... The chat is loving your look, by the way. Who's... Yeah, oh, Trish's yeah? Look. yeah? Thanks. I feel like it's kind of cool. I miss my makeup on my face, but... So... <laughs> Mm. So let's just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll fuck around until it's better. So annoying, dude. Should we sing? Well, tell me, do, would you really cruise around in that Balenciaga shirt? Or no? I did. I wore this, speaking of David, I wore it to his 23rd birthday party in his vlog. Look it up. Find, oh, really? the, find the vlog how, where I wore so this. How does it feel to be wearing it? Do you feel like, high, like bougie? Yeah, for or sure. Or do you feel like a meme? No, you feel like high fashion. Really? Yeah. I do. It's a one d designer item that fits me. Usually people, like Versace only goes up to size two. Mm -hmm. So this is like something I can rock. I'm like, okay, I feel skinny. Do you ever, I wonder if you could wear this. You can. And then have that in the back. As like a cape. As a cape. You can. Yeah, I, yeah you totally can. Come here, folks. You're so sweet. We love this boy. We are in Buffering City here, folks. Hi. Buffering. We're going to cut this out. Oh. If he's saying the audio is fine, but it's very low FPS. Why? What's the FPS? Frames the per frames. second. It's just like stuttery. Hi. Mm. You're such a good boy. Uh, I mean, we've had this happen before. Never this long before, though. Yeah. Like, this it is... Usually comes right back. And the computer is operating completely fine, so it just... It seems to be pure... Like, the internet's not totally out, but it's like... Can they hear you? Are you right talking now. there? I think... <laughs> yes, they can hear me. Sometimes you don't, and it's just... And then we're just sitting here. Sitting here? Uh -huh. I think there's a lot to say about that era. We weren't going to do an episode where we were just going to watch paint dry. Yeah, that's mine. Is this an episode? <laughs> Well, it's not uh, supposed to be. Okay. Not supposed to be. <laughs> it might end up being. We just stare at Jeff. Does it still seem uh, stuttery? Mm, it's like, yeah, it's like kind of choppy on the Choppy, yeah. 
What the fuck? I'm gonna punch my router in the face. I don't know, man. God, violent. Well, it's an inanimate object. Okay. My internet works fine. Moses is saying, Eli, are you saying choppy or smooth? Yeah. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You're right. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. You want me to do a plug? A plug for what? My music video tomorrow. Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. That'd be great. And then, well, I, we're going to cut this out. Oh, no. But you can plug it. Okay. But that's not going to make sense. We're talking about all <laughs> yeah, this yeah, serious shit. Enough, and then Trisha being like, watch my music video. <laughs> okay. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so what do I do? Just talk? Oh, okay, okay. I'll plug it. I'll plug something. I'll yeah, plug it's, something. Worth, I'll plug. it's worth something. Oh. All right, guys. We have a new friend. What? Do it to your uh, camera. This one. Oh. Hey guys, we interrupt Frenemies for a word from our sponsors. Frenemies merch coming soon to <laughs> teddyfresh.com. This cool beanie is only the first of wonderful items to come. We have zip ups, tube socks from the makers of Teddy Fresh. So you know it's good quality and not some shitty fan joy stuff. So look for that. We also have a Passover music video coming tomorrow to my channel. So hug pasach. Hug pasach. And um, yeah, and. Um, I'm sure there's a new classic Teddy Fresh collection. I got a black up zip up hoodie that I was supposed to wear tomorrow, but we're not having tomorrow. Uh, check out a uh, check out um, <laughs> what else do we have to plug? Uh, check out Jeff Wittick's response video. Actually, check out the Insider article by Cat. Read it for yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, you know this is 2021. We Stand by, um, stand by victims. We stand by people saying the truth, not just his is titled "My Truth" and not the truth. Honestly, Jeff Wittick, like I honestly don't didn't really have any issues with you before this. I don't know why you're trying to like assassinate my character. I don't do shit. I just, you just were there. I wasn't even saying anything. I got all my yeah. plugs in. Oh, don't stream. Don't stream. Or maybe turn maybe turn it down to 240 if you're streaming, you. Sorry, guys. We are working hard to fix. Maybe something's downloading? You know? <laughs> Nobody's here. And it, let's just do the show. Yeah, just lower your... I mean, you guys both streaming could affect it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, okay, we're going to come back in right around here. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Sorry about the uh, technical issues. What were we talking about? We were just about to watch his video, I think. Or we were watching his video. All right, I'll just play it. Yeah. Whatever we were talking about. And what, the, what was said about me was false. Before anything, my heart goes out to the victim. That was a cut. Yes. Camera shot. I don't change. like cuts in, a, in these kind of videos. Just speak Ain't no cuts heart. here. Actually, I just said we're going to cut. Right. <laughs> that's technical difficulty. But you can see it all. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you can see it all. Yeah. And at least this is more than two minutes long. Like, you know, he, he did... Oh. Yeah. That is something I want to say, <laughs> at least if I can say anything nice about Jeff, is that he at least came out here and talked about something. Yeah, yeah. Although it's hard to give him so much credit when he's kind of putting Kat's Twitter encouraging his fans. I was to so go team Jeff it. when he called me. Yeah, I was I like, know. I was so shocked. He like DM me, call me. He's like saying all this stuff to call him, and I was like, oh, like I would kind of like respected that because honestly, like that does a lot. Like just hearing from someone rather than being like ignored or called crazy or all the stuff they say behind your back. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, because he talked to me. He's like, oh, you seem like really normal and like not crazy. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Whoa, like, thank you. Well, I respect that more than David and all these other people just trying to. I can only imagine what David says about you. It's so funny. He and never mentioned video... me ever. But I, you know, it's cool. I'm ready. Did we drop out again? No. Oh, okay. It's not to discredit her. What Dom did was horrible and disgusting and makes me sick. And I had no idea about this until this article was published. Well, technically, I got reached out to to comment on it. And nobody really knew what happened that night until that article was sent out to us. 
And I chose to comment on it. I chose to comment on it because some things that were said about me were completely false. I'm sitting here watching these videos where they're dissecting the article and the video itself and the actions that happened that night. And I am mad at myself because of the way I look. I, I genuinely am upset with myself. And I know that I, I didn't do what they're saying that I did, but the way it looks... I can understand why people are pissed off, and I just want... So what is it that he's... Th so people are saying he may have bought alcohol, so that might not be true, okay. But he, but he keeps evading... The, the, the main premise, of course, is that he was there. Right. He was peeking. There's that shot of him and the vlog peeking in and right. saying he's getting a body count. So, it's, again, it's like... Okay, let's... I want to explain that, and by doing that, I have to explain how david's vlogs work it's kind of like uh a chaotic shittier version of snl david will come up with ideas himself but since he would have to put out so much content other people will pitch ideas and sometimes he'll like them and sometimes we'll shoot them sometimes he'll scrap them we won't use them um sometimes you get to do your funny joke that you did in his video which is the biggest platform and that's great because then you get more attention to your channel and, and whatever and, and you can maybe get more possibilities from that bit that you executed in, in his video. So on this day, three years ago, um, Dom had posted an Instagram story where he was asking to have a foursome. He was asking who would, who would be interested in having a, a foursome with him. Uh, we got wind of this and it seemed like an interesting bit that possibly, you know, potentially something funny could come out of. Back when I was rolling with David and we, we would film these vlogs, it was very... You're shaking your head, Dan. Just this whole explanation... On SNL, they don't invite <laughs> random strangers to come on and have a... For like, what is this comparison? <laughs> this isn't a sketch. This is like, this is more like a reality show. It's, it's more nothing like, like SNL. Yeah, like, what minus, the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, minus like the releases and stuff. It's like, it's not, it's not even like, it's so, it's so odd and so weird. And who says like, oh yeah, that's like a good idea. Let's go and film that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, and there's also a lot of confusions <laughs> about like, Okay, Dom asked for the five sum, and we thought it would be a good idea. Once again, he's dodging the responsibility, where if you watch David and other clips, he's taking credit for setting up. Dom explicitly thanks David in the video. So again, I feel like Jeff is once again trying to, like, um, obfuscate the truth by saying, oh, it was, again, trying to blame it all on Dom, even though this was a collaboration for David's, fucking video yeah this is also repeated i mean like th even as like last year he was asking like natalie and corinna like how much he could pay them to have sex with jason and like he goes how much how, like can i pay you a thousand dollars david like, yeah that's like so, it's on the record and, and like what is wrong with him <laughs> when he thinks that sex like that is just like some like he thinks all women are whores or something that's literally like and i saw you know what i mean it's like every girl in the, in the every i never noticed it, but like every female in the vlog is like literally the joke and when he's talking about like we all came to ideas with david i've and never why once, jason why does he want them to sleep with jason i guess because he's like the grossest person so he's like oh how much to have like sex with like they did it with jonah too he's like how much to have sex with like jonah how much would it like he asked Karina that multiple times like because they're just gross people why do you think that women are prostitutes <laughs> and just like sex is just a pawn for for entertainment uh, yeah. in their vlog. He's he's got some deep rooted shit going on. But again, this is Jeff just once again playing the boys club and 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 he's trying to say it was all Dom's idea and David didn't have anything to do with it. Which is something so he'll continue to say throughout this video. Be like chaotic. We'd bounce around, we'd be in one spot for fifteen what? minutes. What's that? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was crackling. The audio's fucked up. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Minutes we'd shoot back to better? the okay. fucking in and out parking lot and see if we could find something there. We go to Hollywood Boulevard, we would go to David's house or wherever, and we just keep trying to find jokes. And this situation this night is not how it played out in the video because you guys only see a small, small part of it. Sometimes jokes don't land. Sometimes shots don't work. Sometimes audio isn't clean. Sometimes somebody says a joke. It doesn't happen on camera. We have to. What? Audio isn't clean. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Too well. Redo it. Sometimes Some... the live breaks. Sometimes things are scripted entirely. I and 
David and we all were under the impression that this was a consensual bit. These girls had answered Dom's message to have a threesome. Dude, you're, again, he's, he's, you're, what are you talking about? Of course, like, you are all under the, of course they weren't coming over to be assaulted. <laughs> right, right. And they were clearly, like, fans. Also, David has what always prided mean? himself in saying that nothing is scripted. And honestly, like, from all my time there, nothing is scripted. Yeah. Like, maybe they come up with ideas, but everyone that's, like, the victim or get the the brunt of it like they don't know i feel like Just he's bringing that up that sometimes it's scripted again to throw doubt on this whole thing because later in the video he says he, he tries to doubt the authenticity of 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 the video um and they came over to do that or maybe pretend to do that or joke around or just maybe nothing was going to happen who knows according to the article and in the video maybe five or six girls showed up they weren't interested in having the threesome i think they just wanted to hang out and film Maybe some of them were, or I don't know exactly. I, I remember some of them saying that they were, some were 20, some were 21. But in the article, it says that Trisha, who was Jason's girlfriend at the time and the one bringing all this to light. Wrong. It's so fucked up that he <laughs> says that. Literally, I talked about this for years and no one cared. Like, these <laughs> girls came forward after a lot of other people came forward. I liter and then they just asked me for a comment because I've talked about it before. I was there, just like they asked you. And again, this <laughs> is, again, the same boys club that just uses Trisha's crazy and has a vendetta against <laughs> us. Once again, the same fucking dumbass talking point to sell to your, to your fans who ate it up initially. Right. It's fucked up, dude. You, if you read the article, you would know that this has very little, Trisha's was mentioned almost none. Yeah, because I was only there for half of it. You were there for all of it. <laughs> it's like, dude, what are you, why and are you doing this? And if I was there an hour and a half, you were there at least longer than that. That's longer than 15 minutes, like. Well, <laughs> we'll get into that. She <laughs> is saying that I supplied alcohol to loosen up the girls, which it just didn't say it, that. I did say that J uh, David asked Jason when Jason said no. He asked Jeff, and Jeff said, "I'll do it." That's what I heard. I I, I never said it. I saw him come back with. But this again, speech. if it was you were the only person <laughs> saying that, that might be of interesting defense. Right. But the part that you don't mention once in this whole pathetic video is that two of the other witnesses that were there said that you and Todd came back with alcohol. Why do you not mention that, dude? How are you going to come out here and, and not? He's Mention trying not that. to victim blame by just Trisha blaming, which, okay, I'll take it, but also, like, there's actual people that were involved. He's trying not to pull Scott. He's trying to, like, do his best to not do that, but... He's just... He's covering for Todd, who... by but Who well, saves... That, based on what he told Kat in the recording we watched in the beginning, is that he bought alcohol for himself. Right, so, okay, now stories have changed. It just makes me angry because it's so not true. I willingly called Insider to clear my name and say this is complete bullshit trisha and i have had bro you don't clear you this, this i'm sorry jeff but i just think you must not be that smart you don't call a reporter and clear your name by just saying oh that's not what happened if you have some kind of evidence that you can show them that might help but if you're just going to call and bitch about say how trisha's crazy <laughs> she just have to get you i don't think that's going to help influence the article much dude Right, I have a ton of things I could say about you and todd it's like i'm not trying to like go about that route like it's just like that's irrelevant also just not even has anything to do with it because it's not about me but mm. it's i know it's frustrating you, you know we haven't been so friendly with each other in the past because of starbucks the breakup with jason <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> my loyalty remained with jason after the breakup i saw trisha make videos on jason and <laughs> she was angry at him for whatever reasons that's between Literally them wasn't i reached out to trisha personally after all this and I mean, I, I only knew one side of the story at the time. I only knew what she was saying online, and he was losing jobs, losing money. He was getting hate. To me, in my eyes at the time, it was taking food out of his Maybe kid's because mouth. his best so friend that was featured was dating a minor. Maybe that's why he was losing brand deals, because he kept putting Brandon in the videos instead of me, and he was liter and it was proven that he was dating a 17-year-old. So it's like, what? maybe it wasn't about me. Like, what did I say? That I was embarrassed by Jason. I wasn't angry. I was embarrassed. He hadn't even broke up with me yet. I was like, you're embarrassing. This is embarrassing. You're with Madison Beer and Tana trying to hook up with them. You're gross and disgusting. He says <laughs> you were taking food out of Jason's children's <laughs> oh mouth. God. Which is basically saying, if anyone does anything <laughs> wrong and they have kids, you you can never hold them accountable because the kids are going to starve, apparently. <laughs> oh, so, my God. Shame on you. Are his kids still? They're fed, right? I think they're okay, fed. Good. I think they're okay. Okay, good. Detached, my name is to this. It's just because I was the only one to speak. I talked to the reporter, and I told her that I had nothing to do with buying the alcohol. 
It absolutely was not me. I will go down to that okay, liquor well, store. Okay, well, the witnesses and Trisha, who was there, disagree. <laughs> right. I mean, dude. They literally said to you and talking about those hospital. tapes for, from three years ago to see who walked in the liquor store. I check my credit card statement. I don't know how you how you, you get those tapes from the liquor that you store. didn't buy Nobody's got the tapes. Nobody's the only I one that And he also said Todd bought alcohol say- for himself. You already admitted that this. You guys went in there. So, and my theory is, is you, we talked about this. He's probably right. Like maybe Jeff physically didn't do it. Like I saw that David was like, "Hey, Jeff, Jeff's like I'll do it," and then I didn't even know. Yeah, like, David, I don't think yeah. he did it. I don't think of he did. Of course, it. but to cover and say we didn't, but then also, oh, Todd bought whiskey for himself. It's like which one is it? I love this. Listen, this is the most half-assed bullshit way to defend yourself. Like, you have to have no brain to actually be convinced it's by this. It's because he's also trying to defend Todd and David, which is... I check my credit card statement. I don't know. You didn't check your fucking credit card <laughs> statement from three years ago. Stop. Check the credit card statements. Stop. You didn't go to the fucking AM, PM and look... Do you have camera footage from three years ago? He did show the footage? No, I'm saying... Oh. <laughs> right, right, right. That's amazing. Here's the, here's my credit card statement from that. Well, whatever. Because he didn't do it. No, I, he did. Right, right, right. I mean, I, 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 I. But again, <laughs> it's a ridiculous claim. He's missing again, missing like more of the point. He's saying he's 100 percent innocent. Maybe 100 percent innocent. He's like, I, alcohol, I went but. into hypnotherapy and I went back in time and I remember everything vividly. It's like, okay, bro. Yeah, how do you remember that they all said they were 20 or 21, but you don't remember that? It's like so it's so weird. Right. You remember their exact age? How did you know their age? How did you know their age? How did you know their age, Jeff? Sounds like a TikTok. How did you know you're their age, Jeff? <laughs> know how you how you prove that you didn't buy alcohol. The only one that w- was allegedly saying that I bought the alcohol was Trisha. Wrong, motherfucker. <laughs> That's a lie. And he recorded the conversation. Did he think Cat wasn't recording the conversation? It's like why? You're a lying? fucking liar, bro. Find inconsistencies in my story. He has so many in this. Like mine are that always the same. Just... Even from years ago, these same same consistencies. I've always said the same truth. Listen, because lies are so easily debunked. If she was, wait, hold on. Even if, let's say you didn't read the article, which I don't Maybe think you did. Yeah. But she, even if you didn't, here's Kat recording your conversation. Uh, One more time for the record, Jeff. Jeff Wittick and Todd Smith bought alcohol for under, but it's from Trisha, which is like. It's from, yeah, it's from Trisha. Trisha. It's also from the other girls. Like, they remembered that I'm David sorry, had, Jeff. What's he saying in response to that? He ignores. Asked Jason to go buy the alcohol, and then okay. Trisha told Jason, like, don't buy the alcohol. And then they said that you and Todd left and came back with, like, a bottle of, I think, Jack. And I do know, like, I, I have, like, the video. Like, I've watched the video. So, like, it was, like, the it was, like, you and Todd and, like, that whole group was there. I don't know, like, if you... Remember anything specific no, around that? I did not. I, I he just says, I did I not. not. Ignore, I did ignoring not. that it's not just Trisha, which is just, again, like, that's just not fair characterization for different. Like, maybe that argument has worked these past few years with right. Trisha's crazy, everything's from Trisha. Everything, yeah. Everything bad happening in the vlog squad is Trisha's fault. Yeah. That doesn't fucking work anymore. Like, his lawyer saying that too, trying to discredit yeah. me. Like, which, by the way, I loved on your last H3 Live when you said the lawyers, when they said in their legal letter that, well, anyone who knows David, David wouldn't do this. And you're like, oh, what yeah. kind of lawyers? Oh, yeah. That? Your Honor. <laughs> Because that's what Scotty said. Right. Maybe it's Scott that did it. Wrote the letter. Mm, Scotty, your lawyer. <laughs> your Honor. <laughs> if only you would get to know the <laughs> defendants, you could, would clearly tell. That's not a legal defense. You can't go to court and be like, well, No, of course like, not. And also, if I was his bitter ex girlfriend against Jason, I would throw Jason under the bus. If I'm a liar, I'd lie about something that he did there, too. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah. He, Save Jason's he was- life. Nobody's yeah. talking about Jason in this situation. <laughs> and he was up David's ass for all these bits. So you're welcome, Jason, for not being involved in this scammy one. <sighs> Trisha wasn't even there when the alcohol uh, supposedly oh. arrived. I told. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so the alcohol arrived. Yeah, wait, supposedly. back that up. Trisha wasn't there when the alcohol so it arrived. arrive. You, Trisha wasn't there when the alcohol <laughs> arrived. <laughs> yeah. Only one Which is that true. <laughs> was allegedly saying that I bought the alcohol was Trisha. No, Trisha dumbass. wasn't even there How when the say my alcohol. Name? So, uh, supposedly arrived. I told Trisha who I had. Jesus. Yeah. So many Trishas. <laughs> yeah, come on. You got the second camera for crap. Well, because it would be like this. <laughs> Wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so fucked up that he characterizes you this way. Because anybody that is not familiar with the actual story is just going to be like, Trisha's this crazy bee who's just <laughs> after us and told... And it's just... it's It's... You're a fucking liar, bro, and you owe Trisha an apology. 
Which is so weird because he did apologize to me last Tuesday and then he made this video. And then even when he texted me, I thought we were all cool. I was like, we were until you, like, because he apologized Tuesday to me. And then now he's just like, he goes, you, I just thought you were a crazy person. You're right. You weren't. And now I'm like, what? Like, well, remember, he's calling in after this. And listen, I'm not holding back. I'm just being genuine. But I'm going to hear him out. But I'm, I'm going to need an apology, I think, for lying about Trisha on this one. That, I don't think he got that because I said that. I was like, well, dude, you literally lied. You said it to him. <laughs> I had problems with at the time. I apologize for discrediting everything you say because of my loyalty to a friend. What would you do if your friend broke up with her boyfriend and there was some problems going on Jeff between would jump them. Off the bridge. You would stick with your homegirl. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's just That's that, my mom. That was Did my your mom problem. always say that? Would you jump if, if Kyle jumped off a bridge with you? <laughs> Jeff was totally all those people are. Such if a bad. David jumped oh, yeah. off the bridge oh, yeah. they They'd all follow. They're all drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh yeah. We're all jumping. <laughs> And that's they why are, I had literally. a beef with Trisha. You know, that's why my name is in this article. I believe Wrong. for the first time I talked to the reporter from Insider. I told her that I 100% didn't buy the alcohol. I swear to God. I swear on everything. Dude, a reporter doesn't care you swearing to God. That's not evidence, Jeff. <laughs> I, <swear to> God. <laughs> I told her I swear to God. I can't believe she included me. Oh, it's so weird. I swear to God and she still included me. How unprofessional. <laughs> when, a, when a victim actually said your name, not even me, take me out. Cause she was going to take me out of the equation when David's lawyer tried to, like, throw me. She was, you know, she, she limited a lot of what she said about me because of David's lawyer. Um, but take me out. The girl still said your name, Jeff. Like, I'm not, like, ugh. You're in the video, and the girl named you, bruh. Stop. Just stop. Stop it. <laughs> I definitely did not. I'm sober. I would not. I haven't. I, I know I haven't bought alcohol because I quit drinking. So okay, I just. Fine. Who bought the There's alcohol? There's no way I could have bought the alcohol. Then she asked me about a joke that I made with Todd in a video where I made fun of his drinking problem and like how he loves whiskey or something like that. I do make those jokes about Todd. So I said, yeah, you know, that that could have been in a video later, years later in a completely different situation. But I wasn't saying Todd bought the alcohol. That was like 20 minutes apart in our phone call. Once again, he's lying. We have Kat re recorded the conversation, and I'll pull it up again because, like, I don't want to leave any room for doubt. He literally mentions it at the uh, end of this. Listen, I'm just going to skip to the end. I don't have alcohol in my house. I don't, you know. Do you think it's possible? Yeah, I totally, totally get that. Yeah, I totally get that. I I know Todd was there because, like, he's in the video and everything. Do you think it's possible that, like, Todd was the one who bought the alcohol? I don't think so. Okay. I know Todd drinks himself, so, and, and Todd drinks whiskey. So if oh. Wow, <laughs> in the same clip. So he once again is lying about the reporter, it just, taking it out of context. It would feel, like, so good for, like, Jeff, like, because Jeff, I do, like, we were saying, I think he's a good guy, as opposed to, like, David, I really think he doesn't think he's done anymore. If you just, like, own up to shit, like, it feels so good to finally, like, because people, like, are more forgiving than you think. So if you're, like, hey, I fucked up. Especially if you show, if you portray maturity. Yeah, which he has, he has distanced yeah. himself from the group. He's deleted videos, like, you know, all this stuff. It's like, okay, like, it feels so good. Like, just like. I don't think Jeff's a bad guy. I just, I, what he's doing, intentionally or not, is really fucked up. And it needs to be called out. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But, like, why are you lying? The, you literally, in that clip, it sounds like you are insinuating that Todd about the alcohol. She says, do you think it's possible to talk about the alcohol? You said, I don't think so, but he does drink whiskey. You said it like that, but he does drink whiskey. Right. So, because she said, someone said it was Jack, and he goes, oh, well, he does drink whiskey, so that might make, so you knew. Bruh, stop it. So, for you to put those two together, it pissed me off because uh, now you, you're making me look like, I'm throwing my friend under the bus here I just listened and saying to the clip. that Todd was the one who supplied this you alcohol to did loosen girls it. up. I've never given a girl a drink to loosen girls up in no my one's life. No, yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> Nobody's accusing you of that, dude. It just sucks because all you need to do is say something on the inter internet and then it's a story and then it's, it's this is a liter literal published article with a paywall in front of it. You have to pay to read it. And the girl said to me, I don't know what video you said that in. But I didn't have much to work with, and that's what I think Trisha said to me or something. Stop. So <laughs> that's what I had to go with. You're up. the only one that spoke to me. What vlog or barbershop episode did I reference that Todd likes whiskey? I just played it. I just <laughs> played the clip in the same conversation, for Christ's uh, sake. It's, oh, it's such a headache. It's like a, it's such a runaround. I don't know because I know Trisha has like brought that up, but I was just like told that 
that there was a clip of you and Todd talking about the alcohol. So for me, okay, now just to give context, because he's making it look like she's making this all up based on hearsay, hearsay Trisha says. Yeah. But that's not true. What she's talking about is this clip she referred to earlier. She says, there's a clip of you guys talking about it, and you said you were nervous, and so Todd decided to buy it. She did not include that clip in the article right. because she could not find evidence of it. So you specifically asked her about that, and she said, I couldn't find that clip, trying to characterize it like she was lying about about you saying Todd like whiskey, even though that's on fucking record, which I just played for you, <laughs> douche. Yeah, that's so dumb. That's so stupid. I didn't even see those things about Cat, but yeah, now that I've seen that, I'm like, oh my god, just straight up lies. Stop. Do you think he just doesn't remember, or he's like, he's doing it on purpose, like he's trying to be manipulative? I don't know. I feel like he doesn't know he's lying. <laughs> Oof. So yeah. what's the what does that mean about him? Does it mean he's just so caught up in trying to defend? When people lie, you trip over your story so much, which is why I don't lie, because I used to be such a liar when I was a kid, and you trip over your story so much, and it's so easily found out. So, like, now I'm really careful on to, like, what I say about, like, I always was when I made any expo exposed video about anybody, Anthony McCall, call Roger Bart, David, like, anybody. I It's truth. There's truth in it. There's always truth. I'm not going to make up lies. I mean, is he explicitly lying? Because everything he's saying is so, is so provably false. Like, Dan, what's your take on this? That's why, I, I mean, I honestly was just baffled by all of this, uh, because it's so... Again, he either didn't read the article, and so, or but he's, the, or he's, like, those are the only two options. He either didn't read the article or he's lying. Like, but the, well, funnily enough, even if he didn't read the article, we have him on tape, the reporter saying it wasn't just Trisha, it was two other people. That right, well, and it just, yeah. it seems like he can't so get a story. Didn't he, I, I was just asking AB about this in our chat because I wanted to make sure I understood it, but when this first broke and you were arguing with him on Twitter the other day, mm -hmm. Trisha, yeah. he tweeted that he was only there for 15 minutes. Yes. But everything he's stating in this video also contradicts that. So it's just like, his story has changed like 10 times yeah. in the last three days. The 15 minutes thing is something I really got to ask him about because that does not make sense. It's just not being able to keep up with lies, which again is why you Yeah, I just, I can't even keep, keep track with what his narrative is here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he's just outright lying, then, then, you know, bro, I don't know, I don't know how I can help you with that one. <laughs> reaching out that's why my name is in this article i'd like to think that he's not being that malicious as to outright knowingly lie but i think he's just trying to like defend himself and his friends any way he can and so i think he's just i don't know trying to throw her under the bus me under the bus and he's trying everything to do not to victim blame because that didn't go too well for scotty so <laughs> i think he's just trying any other route <laughs> i don't know that's why i'm associated with this back to explaining how david films we do stuff that sometimes doesn't work and that bit in our eyes, all of our eyes, it was a failure. It didn't work out, and we all left thinking it didn't work out. So why we was it posted? Why would he have posted it? And also brag about it on a podcast and two days later, if he didn't think that worked out. That doesn't make sense. That claim doesn't make sense. They filmed the whole thing. They got Dom having the threesome. They were peeking inside the door. I mean, I just, I don't know what... This is his point of trying to bring this up. It was a failure, guys. That he just left and that was it. Right. I guess. The room, we were like, oh, they went in the room with him, but nobody's clothes were taken off. No, nobody was kissing. Did you know there that when you looked in? nothing going on. We were just joking around. And then we left. Straight up. We left. We went somewhere else to film something else. In the video. So that, that claim is hard to know what's the truth or not but, right. for, but but the guy has not been truthful about everything else so i'm inclined not to believe him in this case well he also says that he didn't he looked in and like nobody was in there but now he looked in and they were fully clothed no one was kissing they were fully clothed nothing was happening so why in the vlog does dom come out naked right. and why is david also in the article cat says that she has a a recording that one of the witnesses took of them saying did you see anything to david and david saying no he locked the door Right. Which is what he did because the guys kept peeking in when they were trying to hook up. So, again, this doesn't hold water compared to the accounts of what happened that night and even what's in the vlog, which has Dom coming out naked saying, stop bothering me. And once again, you're not innocent because you're partaking in this. Even if you're peeking in on them clothed, you're partaking in something like... You're still, you're still not innocent. These are like young fangirls obviously drinking, whether you brought the alcohol or they just had alcohol or they were drinking. Like, you're a part of this. Like, did you know, did you know they weren't naked when you peeked in? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what and they said, and I, I was there when they said they didn't want to do it. They just wanted to meet David. Not the main girl because she said she didn't know who we were or whatever, but the other girls were just so excited to meet David and me and everyone. They said it. So they were fangirls. They said they had no intention of hooking up with him. They just want to like hang out and chill. So you know that part. But now all of a sudden they're David in a room. David said himself. Yeah, that's... 
and also Jeff looked in and came out and said, oh, they look pretty good. So well, he did say that. You're fucking 30. But it looks like we were peeking in, and in the article it says that the friends had to lift her limp body out of the room <laughs> because she drank so much alcohol. That was supplied allegedly by me or Todd. And that sounds absolutely horrible, and I won't stay silent on this. I don't give a fuck how this gets picked apart. Go ahead. But I would never look into a room and see a Again, you are, bro, I don't, I'm sorry to say this with peace and love. I think you're just dumb. Mm -hmm. I think your, all your problems in life probably just stem from you being kind of an idiot. Yeah. The article does, the article says that they had to go in there after you guys had already dipped out because her lifeless body was dumped and, and kept on the bed. When you, it's clear from the timeline of the article that sh they were not, she wasn't blacked out and dumped on the bed naked when you peeked in there. Right. Like, what? what and, uh, yeah. What are you talking and about? And also, according to you, you said there was, they were clothed or whatever. So they were, but they were still in the bedroom with this guy, like, in, in inebriated. Is that the word? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's like, bro, you're, you, it's like he's trying to make this big stand on this point that literally doesn't even matter. <laughs> you guys are all you know they're fans of all of you guys there's these girls so once again there's like this power dynamic of david you todd all of us being there and it's just like you're still like there's still like a problem here you're like drinking with these fan girls so there's this really and you know they're fans of you guys and it's just it's just ugh. i believe you that you didn't see it that the article clearly states right? that you weren't there when it happened come on dude a Stop. limp girl being and allow that to happen. I, I made know a joke you didn't in a video see it. One I believe you. David yeah. and Dom, where he said, "You guys will." But now he's kind of throwing and trying to throw into doubt the authenticity of the entire story. Of course, yeah. Even though he goes, "I'm not here to blick them, Jay." Or but, <laughs> but it's you like are. you kind of are doing that by missing the whole fucking point. Both yeah. end up in jail together, and I said, "No, they separate the the rapists and the, the pedophiles and stuff like that. They they separate those guys and they put them in different color outfits and they give them special security because they get beat down and they get killed." Because of what they do when you're in jail and you're a rapist, that's what happens to you. They give you the light, the light blue jumpsuit, and the rest of us would be in dark blue. Look, I, I, I've fucked up before in the past. I've made mistakes. I've addressed them. They're on the internet. You could read through every one of them, and I'll admit to them. If I did something wrong, I'll admit to it. This was all nearly a decade ago, and I have nothing to hide now. Look, I reference jail a lot, and it's become a part of well, he's saying he went to jail a decade ago, making it sound like the video was a decade ago, kind of. <laughs> My character, I guess, and I haven't been there in 10 years, but what I can say is it's it's a horrible place. It's okay. where nobody would ever want to be. What's that got to do with anything? The second right. you get there, especially in California, you have to fight. And Okay, bro, jail's tough. What, 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 what am I supposed to do with this? Even the most hardened <laughs> criminals... Even the worst people on the planet that, are, that have to be locked in a cage because they can't be out in society still do not condone rape and sexual assault and pedophilia. So, so his argument here is that because he's gone to prison, he's against SA? Which clearly he's not because he knew about the text with Dom and these girls in 2019. He still filmed with Dom after this. The ones from VidCon, he knew all this but stuff. But he may not have known about the text. We don't have evidence of that. I'll tell you. I know for sure the whole group, group knows about Dom and his... Thing. That's for sure. The so, big thing he does. But the fact, about, and he know. still did videos with him, had a whole barbershop episode. Like, you did, you still promote yeah, him. Like, don't yeah. act like you why were so much you, above this. After the whole VidCon controversy, why did you continue to associate with Dom? I mean, I have that same question for everybody. This mm -hmm. poor girl was, was straight up assaulted by Dom, and everyone was allowing him as a hero for admitting to his mistake. Mm -hmm. Legend. The files. I don't stand for any of that well, shit. Well, he's been to jail, so so he's fine. He's been to jail, and as you know, in prison, we don't stand for that shit. Oh, is that what he's trying to say? Yeah, I got yeah. it. He's like, trust me. I don't think anybody does. I don't think you have to go to jail to not stand I would behind. Th I agree. <laughs> That's like saying anyone who's been to jail would never come out and commit an assault or something. <laughs> We're all rehabilitated. Dom is going to get what's coming to him. I've been reaching out to him because he needs to address this because since I'm the only one who will talk, I'm the one that's getting the most shit. That's not why. And <laughs> I called Dom several times a day. Uh, I've been texting him, and he said, stop calling me. And I said, it doesn't work like that. I'll just fucking read it because, I, I mean, who gives a fuck? I'm an open book. I got nothing to hide. He said, on a call, bro. Is that true? Is he an open book? Except, well, no. You're not. You deleted all your videos with Dom. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're not an open book. You literally will not admit that you went to the store yeah. with Todd and you keep saying you were there for 15 or minutes. Well, you can't admit anything wrong. Like, if someone's just innocent and everything, like, admit some wrongdoing. 100% like... uh, not, yeah. Or stop calling me. I said, he said, I said, stop calling you. It doesn't work like that. I, I ended it off with saying, you better hope the cops find you before I do. I mean, I don't okay. even know what I would do. <laughs> this video. And I don't know why he got to include, like, threats of physical violence. Well, this is coming from the guy that left his coffee when he saw me in a Starbucks. So I don't Tough think guy, he, huh? Yeah. I think that's, and that's what he said triggered him. Because when I saw that, I was like, this is the guy that's portrayed that's as, like, funny. I've been in prison. I'm fucking tough. And then, like, when he saw me, like, left and not get his coffee. So that's funny. why I said it. Because I just thought it was so funny. Everyone's always so scared of Jeff. And I was like, you're not going to do anything. <laughs> like... It, it's fine and you went to jail for selling marijuana like i mean you know it's legal now so it's like you don't act like you're like oh they better find you before i do you know where he is like he this whole situation makes just... well i don't think you should go beat up dom no 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 i'm not saying either that, i'm like... saying i i would encourage you not to do that <laughs> no, no. definitely don't he's yeah. sick or don't beat me up either girl has to live yeah, with this i just want yeah, you guys to know him. that i would never just sit back and watch a girl get fucking... i agree nobody's saying you yeah. did that <laughs> I would never sit there and let that happen. Yes, we know. Nobody's Ever. saying that. You know, the video's being picked apart, lined up with the article, and it looks bad. I, I'm mad at myself when I watch it. You know, I have Nobody a sister, think, I have nieces. I don't think anybody's saying that when they peeked in, they saw the that they knew that a girl was being, like, assaulted. Yeah. That's not, I don't think that's the timeline. That, right? Am I wrong? Or is people, do people think that? I think just the overall I just, just watching girls have I think, sex. Yeah, like, I think, they're not consenting to it. They're drunk. They're not consenting yeah. to you watching them. They're not consenting to you guys peeking in. It's the same thing as, like, the shower situation with me and Jason. Like, I mean, it's not like there was anything inappropriate other than, like, I didn't, like, know someone Consent was to hearing me having sex, you know? It's yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. I have respect for all women. But back to respect all women. David vlogs. I don't respect it's all a women. <laughs> like, I don't respect all people. How dare you? Ela's pissed that I said that. <laughs> Maybe, like... Yeah, I respect. I respect all. You know, I respect all women. No, I don't. No res exception. I don't respect Jodi Arias, the girl who stabbed her husband forty-one times. Yeah. <coughs> I don't respect Casey Anthony. Exactly. You know what I mean? So not all women. Oh, Dan's coming out with Margaret against Margaret Thatcher, ladies and gentlemen. We have the next episode. We need to cancel Charles Dickens. He was anti-Semitic. Charles, we're going way back, huh? <laughs> yeah. okay. I just saw that recently. Yeah, right after I cancel you. <laughs> in my notes for real yeah you might as well put yourself on that list <laughs> no i'm not oh my god you might be anyway also can we go back to this the also a big issue <laughs> is david david also again once again being like go buy alcohol for these girls but it's a theme that he's admitted to saying he has his best bits when his friends are drunk so he has alcohol on hand like he admits to this this is something that's another it's always bringing the alcohol yeah so of course maybe you didn't do it and like again no one's really coming for you this is david's vlog david produced it david orchestrated david asked people to go get alcohol like i was there for that like it's not he wasn't he's not really under fire you know what i mean he put himself in the fucking crosshairs and now he's gonna get mowed down <laughs> It's obvious that, you know, things are scripted and set up and reshot. I've said that already. But there is a clip at the end of the video, and it's with Dom with a shirt off, and he's fucking sweating. That shot was not even shot that day. Again, proof that he didn't read the article because they <laughs> yeah. say that in the article. Yeah. They literally said it in the article. This isn't a revelation, bro. Right. And I know people will probably take this clip right now of me saying this, and... Everything said is a statement, and everybody's story needs to match up. And you can take this, and you can use this in court. This is my statement. Okay, I'll dude. fucking stand on the stand and say, court, say this again. I was not there. David went back the next day to shoot that sweaty scene. They literally <laughs> sprayed him to make him look sweaty. We know that. Again, we <laughs> talked about it. What's sick about that is that David must have known this girl was blackout and puking and yeah. all this, and then they went back to complete the bit. Yeah, which is even crazier right it's even just crazier scratch the whole thing exactly <laughs> and make it look like he just finished having sex to my understanding that was shot the next day in the article dude and to my understanding <laughs> david had no idea that dom had just <laughs> the girl that night before 
when he told them that he successfully had the threesome so they can... Sure, I believe David didn't know that that's what happened, but what David did know is that the girl was puking, blackout drunk, and apparently you knew that too, Jeff, because you were there all night. Yeah, and had to reshoot it. And furthermore, the David's like last apology, like he knew this from Dom's text that he sent in February of 20, when I made my video. Yes. So like, David still knows this and still hasn't taken accountability, so why you're defending this person David is David removed me. this video a year and a half so, ago for a reason. Yeah, he knew all of this. I don't know. You know all of this. Like, this is in the present, and you're still like yes. you know you know now <laughs> finish the bit they have the ending to their story what happened i had no idea about i can speak for myself in my opinion david went into that thinking that this was a consensual bit and it was funny to him at the time when he was 21 again 20, nobody went you know, there expecting to be assaulted and literally he says Just, in the vlog these girls weren't having it and then a couple hours later <laughs> that, uh, read between the lines <laughs> It went, David Leary goes, it was clear that he did five some wasn't happening, but Dom got to, got and persuasive. There's a vlog yeah. that's circling around of me and Jason later that night in bed being like, yeah, we tried to set up a, Dom, a, a five some for Dom. He said, we tried to set up a five some for Dom and it didn't happen. Yeah. And I said, that's just something you can't really set up, is it? Yep, like, it's, just, it. It's, it's out there. Like, this is not, you, they set it up and it didn't work and everyone knew that. And going to buy the alcohol for them was like the solution. You know. I guess his friends out here that... You he, know why it's called My the, Truth? Because it's not the truth. I hate that. I know. Is, I is, hate yeah. that shit. It's out not... Out here from Vernon Hills together. <laughs> is it the truth? No, it's no, my it's truth. truth. It's my truth. <laughs> People use it's that way too truth. easily now. This is my truth. And he's able to have a threesome from putting out an Instagram story. It was cool to him. I don't control the what, what goes in Thanks, the videos. Thanks, David. That's what it he said. It was cool to him at Thanks, the time. <laughs> the joke that was made at the end of the video saying that we sh we'll probably all go to jail for this was a complete joke and a terrible... What's the joke? That is so bullshit. What's the joke, we'll though? Jokes like that. Right? We're like, all like, going to jail. Like, okay, obviously it's a joke. What's the joke, Jeff? Explain to me the premise. After all of that, that whole night of, like, the girls, the sex, like, you're like, and the, what's the joke? What's the premise of your joke, Jeff? Why are you going to jail in your joke? <laughs> and it's so funny. It's David, Brandon, and, like, literally the people that I've called out. The slimy ones one at that because it turned out something horrible actually happened that night. But do you think it, in anyone's right mind, if we just posted a video to 10 million people that a serious, disgusting crime happened in, we would make a joke saying we're going to go to jail for this? No, but it's joke. telling. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Good point, Dan. I definitely it? wouldn't expect you guys to go back and complete the pick and then put... <laughs> No, I think what it means is that there was some underlying unease about it that made you guys create to make that joke. Because yeah. clearly that's the joke. Yeah. Otherwise, what's the joke? What is the joke? <laughs> what are you going, you know? Joke. I didn't know what happened. I just think people, if they're innocent, they should talk. I woke up today to a call from my manager where I was asked to delete all the posts that I've done with a brand that I've been partnered with for a while. And I felt like angry at first and, you know, disappointed. I didn't feel guilty. I felt like this is now costing me everything I've worked for. I refuse to delete it. And this I love. That's crazy. That's so crazy that that's what you're like upset about. It's like, shit, I'm losing brand deals. Well, I, oh, here, let me play it. I shouldn't pause it. And he said they could sue you. And I said, you know what? then fuck it. Let him sue me. I'm innocent, and I know how this looks. Bro, your innocence has nothing to do with a brand, <laughs> which is in a contract. At, like, Jeff is on a mission to ruin his life. Literally, yeah. Jeff, please, for the love of God, Stop. when I saw this, I was like, dude, just take it down, bro, please. And if you ever want to work with a sponsor again, this is not the way to do it. Because I think your association and David's oh, vlog alone, God. regardless of the article, just like what you did in that vlog is reason enough for a brand not to want to partner with you. Like he's At least the... now, until until it <laughs> right. cools off, right? Because again, you're not the main perpetrator here. Yeah. Like, let it cool off, give them what they want, just remove it, because now you're known as the guy who, if shit <laughs> goes down he's gonna make you sue him <laughs> to remove the boats like i'm sorry that's not someone of any brand is ever gonna want to work with bro yeah, just say i'm sorry i understand the situation i'm gonna take it down even You've though that, right? of course <laughs> it happens you know it happens you yeah. don't fight you don't say i'm not taking fuck you i'm not taking it down i've never had that happen i don't have brand deals so i don't know what that's like 
Apparently, Adam and Eve doesn't care. Adam and Eve just yeah, ride or die. die. Even like, when, I, when the podcast was going to end, they when we thought we didn't, we're going to continue. They're like, oh, are you continuing with the podcast? Should we should we keep sponsoring? Like they they, they reached Wait, out what? to me. Oh, when they thought you yeah. were going to. Oh, that's. Nice. They're like, should we just like pull out? And oh, like, that's nice. Yeah, loyalty. I like that. Maybe I own Adam and Eve. I don't know how they. <laughs> you <like>. should. <laughs> I know. At this point, I think you're the only reason they're floating. <laughs> They're like, we will never pull ads on Trisha. I love They're it. They're like, just tell me what to do. You're quitting the podcast, just tell me. I'll fucking cancel all of them on Ethan. They used to buy me through every single thing I've been through. I love um, that. I love that they're loyal to you. Yeah. I'm not mad about that at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Adam and Eve. Get Adam and Eve as a sponsor, Jeff. Don't no, who's the one that sponsors ever? Oh, Chipotle. Apparently. They they just love supporting. Yeah. Yeah, Chipotle's like, just put, just put me with James. Absolutely anything. James, David, and. The Spring Chicken Burrito is James's oh, burrito. Oh, he likes them young. That. I like that. Yeah. He That's likes the brutal. young chicken. People like the big bitch burrito too, my burrito. The big bitch? Yeah. Well, what can I say? They serve spring chicken there, and that's how, Je- and that's how James Charles likes his, his uh, meat. It, young. And he's just living his life. Oh, yeah. He's living his best life for sure. James Charles, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes. Anyway. What a mess. And, you know, I, I do feel bad because it's like Jeff is getting all this heat, but, like, James Charles is a billion times worse, and he's out there living his best life with the young chicken, spring chicken burrito. <laughs> Wait, stop calling him Why? That's what he likes. I just hate it. I hate it so much. Well, you know what spring chickens are, right? Yes, I get They're it. Young I get the chicken, joke. Right. Yes, okay. I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten point, but I will speak up, and I will show that I'm – not who these people are saying I am. Removing those those Bro, posts the, are, the, from those partnerships, it looks like I'm admitting guilt. And I, I know he's saying that it's a PR it thing. Like if it's your not. name is in titles and you're speaking, yeah, it's just being respectful. Like, exactly, it's, it's they not. They don't want to be associated with you at the moment. No, I don't know if his problem is that like I don't know if it's like he said post that makes me think like Twitter or Instagram or something. But if there's like a whole episode, you can Jeff. I'm talking directly to you if you're watching. <laughs> you can just clip out that part. Right. You can keep the video up. Yeah. I don't know. You had no problem taking down like Dom and all these other videos. Like, just take that one down. Like, it's not. Just clip out the part though, because maybe he's got like a whatever. I'm Jeff. You got it's a your new set like, now, Jeff. Look, FM. Deal with your shit, bro. You were there. Just I don't know. Stuff, you, Jeff. FM. You're linked to this, <laughs> but I'm fucking innocent. I didn't assault a girl. I didn't. No. I wasn't an accomplice to an assault. Mm, I no. tagged along to make a, a skit, to make a consensual bit. It wasn't a skit. I'm not trying. To... <laughs> right. It wasn't not a skit. A skit. <laughs> Again, that's another way of trying to deflect. Is, everyone's in, everyone's involved in the skit. SNL, I'm pretty sure they're all aware they're filming. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Defend anybody here. I'm just trying to tell the truth, and I'm not media trained. I, I probably fucked up a bunch Me of neither. times. I mean, I talked to <laughs> Trisha, and can you tell? I, <laughs> I mean, that was a lot to call her after she said some. Who even said you know, that? I'm not pretty media crazy trained. Stuff about me, um, <laughs> but I always feel like communication should be done (laughs) offline and i'm always quick to call and talk things out without them blowing up online so everybody else has their two cents in without knowing the whole story and i called trisha and i immediately apologized for the starbucks situation she's allowed to have an opinion the The fucking legendary starbucks (laughs) if only would have said hi to you at starbucks none of this would have (laughs) happened He's kicking himself. <laughs> I was ignoring him the same way he's ignoring me. We were both avoiding each other. I was just saying how funny he talked to Jeff is to run out. He's thinking about that Starbucks encounter over and over. <laughs> is he trying to be like condescending or is he being serious? I don't know. Is he being genuine? Like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Well, I think he's being serious, but it does come off condescending because he is implying like that this whole Starbucks thing is the reason <laughs> why, you know, <laughs> everything's crushing down on his life right now. And me, the loyalty to my friend. Is what got me into a beef. I mean, this allegation in here... There's no beef. ...could potentially ruin my life and career and everything I worked for. This article currently cost me every partnership I've worked my entire life to build. And it's all just because I was trying to help by telling the reporter the truth. No. I, no. <laughs> now, you were named. You are calling... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Come on, dude. You know what? Three- and also, like, you're, you're, again, a guilty by association. Like, I was dropped from my podcast last year with... Uh, what was the company? Podcast One. Because of Shane Scandal. So was Ryland. Oh, for real? Ryland was dropped hmm. from Spotify, and I was dropped from Podcast One. They they said it was because they couldn't afford me, but I've seen shows that get, like, 100 views, and they still sponsor. And it's because of, it's because of my association with Shane. So even though I had nothing to do with Shane's allegations because I was associated with him, like, you know, you get dropped. That's what it is. 
it's better to, you know, I wish I would have separated back then, but I was so like, tr- I was like so hardcore and stuff like that. It's better when you just separate yourself, especially if you, if you are not guilty and you're seeing all the things that your friend is guilty of. David is clearly guilty of this stuff and you're still trying to associate with it. And this- it sounds like Todd too. Yeah, that's, that's true. Great. If you really wanted to save your career and do the right thing, you would say, you know what? I, bro, what can I do? I can't rewrite history for you. You fucked up. I'm not going to sit here and tell say you. say it? Because you know that does, I'm telling you, it goes a long way. I fucked up so many times. And if you're just like, fuck, I fucked up. Especially when it's not just supposed to be. Just say it. Right. Don't come out here and say you're 100% innocent. Bruh. Yeah, that's so Reporter, funny. if she was sorry. Does he still want to call in? Is he ready? Can we get him on standby? Because we're almost done. I'm, he may have bailed. been like, fuck these guys. Oh, yeah. I have this, can you send me the Zoom link? <laughs> Ela, send, send it to Ela. She's my phone. She's going to send him the Zoom link on my Twitter DMs. All right, let's get him ready. For twisting my words and causing all this now, because um, I'm sure she had a, an idea about, you know, what would, what the aftermath of this would be. But um, I just wanted to know if she had any any sort of sympathy for, you know, knowing that I was innocent and you're still innocent. doing this. So and I even have her Why say, does she keep saying that she knows you're innocent? What do you mean? Because you're not. I don't think he understands what, like, you're not innocent. Like, you didn't do, yeah, no one's accusing you of, like, doing anything, but it's like, you're not innocent. The witnesses there. said you came back with alcohol. Yeah, you were a part of this want, group. Man? You were a part of this bit. But I swore to God. <laughs> but I, when I was on the phone with her, I said, I swear to God. And she still included Literally it. Literally Scott's defense of, like, everyone knows David's a nice guy. He would not do Dan, you, you hacked into my mainframe? <laughs> Hack. Can you play the video? Thank you. Saying to me on the phone that she believes me that I'm innocent, but she still went ahead and twisted my words. Wrong. So no. fuck it. I'll put the video in. Yes, I am. I am very, very sorry to hear that. Like, I feel like you were more of an innocent. Well, I feel like you were more of a bystander in the overall right. conflict, and I'm very sorry that that is headed your yeah, way. I don't think that anything else is going to come out that will like involve you specifically because. Are you sorry to hear it, or are you sorry that, like, you wrote, you worded it that way, though? Like, it, it sounds like, like... I mean, I'm sorry to hear it, because ultimately, like, I had to do that for my job. Like, that's just, like, what I had to do with the information that I was presented with. But I am sorry to hear that. Yeah, the girl like told her you were there, so she had to report it. So once again, he's insinuating mm-hmm. that she's knowingly lying and that she ruined his life and all this bullshit. Dude, again, he if I, the most the most ironic thing is he's doing to her what he claims she did to him, right? right? Here, she says, um, she says the thing I'm saying I'm sorry about is that Jeff, before asking if I was sorry, he told me people were calling him an R word and a P word, a, a P, a P word, and his life was being ruined and stuff. And she was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry. That's like on a human yeah. level." I'm sorry that's happening to you. It doesn't mean that she lied. So you were taking her words out of context. Yeah, she reported what the girl told her, <laughs> that you brought back alcohol. Shit, because go ahead, all I got to do is release the rest of this phone call. And, you know, go I'm ahead, not trying dude. to get people fired. That's not my yeah. goal. Yeah. <laughs> I understand you're trying to get a story out about a, a serious crime that was done to a girl. And I support that. But what you did was... Not do good research, wrong. And you, didn't read you the brought article. down a lot of innocent people along the way, and you put Not a paywall on it. Person. You claim you're helping the girl, you know. You claim you're helping the girl by getting her story out there, but why put a paywall on it? Why well, make people welcome to fucking, pay to read it, uh, sign up to Insider? Welcome to actually running a business. <laughs> like that doesn't discredit the article. It just means also she's the author. She doesn't. She's. I'm sure that she had nothing to do with the article. Right. Being behind a New York Times does it too. There's even the thing. My vulture was behind a paywall. I paid for that. Everything's behind a paywall. Yeah, <laughs> they're running a business. It's not easy to make money in that world. They had lawyers talking with David's lawyers. Yeah, that, that doesn't delegitimize. Le- de- yeah, the she really delved into it. The story was supposed to come out like a week prior, and they had to like delay it because their lawyers were involved. And so she did plenty of her. Oh, you're taking over my shit here. Is sure it's for your own personal profit. No. She's you said a, it. She's it's my job. She doesn't own insider. I had nothing to work with, and you're the only one that spoke to me. That's the only reason I'm in this mess. No. And that's the only reason. Stop lying. I am dealing with what I'm dealing with now. No, you and were named. Losing partnerships that me and my team work to build. Oh, my God. You know, I'm not the only one that works on my videos. I have, I think, about 10 employees now on payroll that rely on me to eat. And oh, no, not the food <laughs> argument again. Eat. 
sucks. They're gonna starve. <laughs> Yes, it sucks. I agree. It fucking is horrible. It sucks. Ah. I feel for you, bro. These people are going to starve to death now, along with Jason's kids. They'll never eat again because of you. <laughs> rely on brand partnerships to be able to put videos out for free. And it's all ruined now because of this fucking article. Because of you, Jeff. Why were you there? When I have no guilt in it whatsoever. Oh my God. It's a fucking reporter. Put her, put her fucking Twitter up. Jeez. Acting like you're doing the Lord's work. Oh. Don't act like you're doing the Lord's work. You're, you're doing this for profit. Again, I've said this a hundred times. This video. Yo, okay, now you've gone too far. Yeah. You said too much. Just like a straight up attack. So which part is it? If she's doing, is she doing the Lord's work? No. <laughs> she bringing light to this horrible crime which you apparently want to assault Dom for? No. She's doing it to make a profit. As the owner of Insider. And the fact that he says he has zero guilt. And also, for the record, all my videos, like the one I made about David's apology, all, they all get demonetized. Like, anything about David gets demonetized on my end, too. So it's not like everything's for profit. It's just also, and two, the fact that he has no guilt. Like, I have guilt about it. I'm like, maybe I should have done mm. more. You know what I mean? Like, you have to have some sort of guilt. Like, I feel guilty. Yes, they were grown adults. And like, yes, we left or whatever like that. But I feel guilt about it. How do you not? Like, when these girls, I don't know if it's these girls or different girls that reached out to me about this situation if it was in the group. I remember saying, like, Shit, I feel really bad because they were said they were fans and all stuff. I wish I would have. I wish I would have said more and stuff like that. So to feel mm. no guilt is actually like psychotic. Like you're actually like kind of like evil. You have no sympathy. You lack empathy. And then also to say, put this bitch's Twitter up. Like here, you know. Yeah, it's that, like, that was so a fun. lot. And then be like, oh, she's acting like she's a good guy, but she's just here to make money and lie about <laughs> all of us. Like, bro, come on, stop. She's over, like, you <laughs> you admitted yourself that this is a good article. This whole thing about Dom is good. So why are you trying to discredit the whole fucking thing? I don't think major brands would it's be dropping you and David and all these people just because if there was just some silly allegation. Like these are some serious shit that's been backed up, that's been corroborated, that's like verified. Multiple people. It's not one incident. Not to instance, multiple different people that don't know each other. This has been happening to. So maybe it's you guys who did these vlogs, and yeah. you're you're getting the repercussions from it, yeah. and rightfully so. And there is no sympathy. Like there's, absolutely I mean, you're, no sympathy. Well, was Jeff popularized through the vlogs, or yeah? Oh my god, no one knew who Jeff was before. Oh, how did he get involved with David? I don't know. He came, oh Todd. So Todd. He's friends a, with Todd. Yeah. So Todd brought him into the group. Like because it's like, dude, these are kind of like ill-gotten gains in a way. Like your whole empire is built off the back of these vlogs that were shot yeah. with like kind of you know, built on a shaky foundation, which is like a house of cards that's all tumbling now. So I mean, you kind of just gotta accept it and keep like your life is not over, bro. You can still, bro. I've lost sponsors so many times. You just gotta keep slog slogging forward, bro. Okay. Especially when you're not the one having these like. Yeah, you didn't yeah. do you. <laughs> Jeff. Just don't lie, because now your now your character looks bad anytime you say anything. Now people are gonna be like, "Oh, Jeff. it's great the victim." But if it's such a serious story, get the facts straight. This is a criminal case now. Get the facts straight. What facts are wrong? Don't just Jeff. throw around. Oh, this person might have done this because Trisha said they, this. No, <laughs> the vic that witnesses Five said of it. The best organizations that help survivors of. <laughs> Salt. No, then he's April trying to like discredit all of Insider. I don't know what he's on. About yeah, <laughs> well, it's like he's promoting. He's like, like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, is he re is he ready to come on? Uh, he's not in the lobby. Did you, did you send him the link? Oh, no, you have my phone. Oh. We'll just send. Okay. Here. I don't know where <laughs> okay. You got the link, uh, Dan? Did you send me somewhere? Yeah, here, I'll just keep playing it so you guys can... From Insider, five of the best organizations that help survivors of sex assault. Now, April is Sex Assault Awareness Month and Prevention Month. So, there you go. Go hunt down the bad guys <laughs> next go. month. Goddamn Insider always wants you to sign up or pay for something. They're going to slander me again, man. Here we go. April is Sex Assault Awareness Month, also referred to as Sex Assault Awareness and Prevention Month across the nation. Yeah, if like you that. or someone you know has experienced, I don't know. What to... I don't know. Maybe he's trying to give awareness to people. I don't okay, know. nice. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> Unless it's about Jeff, then you can't say anything. So I sent Jeff the link. He just sent me a message a few minutes ago saying he's ready. So I think he is oh. going to. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, I thought he was gonna flip the switch. He seems eager to talk, so uh, first of all, I mean, props to him for coming yeah, on. Yeah, I think that too. But you know, tr I, oh, hey, we're here. Hey. Trisha was, oh, oh, hold on one sec. I hear you, but I need to move your, your, uh, Dana, you're going to have to, okay, wait, I see it. Okay, one second, Jeff.
Dan, my man, my favorite. I, I love all the nice things you said about me so far. I'm really enjoying the oh, show. Oh, have you been listening? Can you guys see me? Dan, which one's Of course I'm listening. Okay. Uh, that one right there. Okay, we see you. Listen to all the episodes. Okay. I love this show, <laughs> especially the one with Scott. I, I mean, this one what? was interesting to be like, to hear you guys tear me apart, which I get, you know, I'm here to learn today too. I'm not just here to uh, voice my, you know. To be fair, I feel like we were being pretty, I, I'm, I'm always been pro Jeff. I never thought you were creepy or slimy in the group of all the people. I'm like, Jeff seems to be the least problematic of the group. So I was just a little shocked to see your video, I guess. Cause even when we talked, you seem very normal and like, I don't know, just not, That's I don't know. Great. Then, then I guess I could, you know, I could start this off with an apology. Can you guys hear me good? Yeah. Is it yeah. the mic? I yeah, mean, I can hear you. You're fine. Set up here. This is, yeah. So. I could start this off with an apology. I apologize for calling you crazy and not uh, validating your opinion. You know, um, I know the Starbucks thing has become a meme now. And, you know, I, I, I uh, got myself a Keurig, so I won't oh be God. having to go down there anymore. And, you know, I, I, I talked about it in the video, but I did a shitty job. I said I'm, I'm bad at this stuff, you know. Well, okay, let's let's talk about something <laughs> specifically. You said a bunch of times in your video that Trisha is the reason you're in this article. Did you did you read the article? I didn't want to pay for the paywall on it. Yeah. It was, <laughs> on it. No, I listen, I I uh, I don't want to make any jokes. I just have a <clears throat> sarcastic tone. Like I I want I want to be clear that I'm here. So, but do, you, not, do you acknowledge not, that it wasn't Trisha just saying that? Now, after listening to you guys uh, addressing the article a bunch of times, yeah, I understand. So I you really didn't read the article, or were you joking? No, listen, so uh, yeah. I'll start from the top. And like I said, you know, I'm not here to discredit the victim at all, and I want to make that clear. I'm, not, I'm just here to explain my side of the story. And the reason I'm even coming on here is because I genuinely feel like, you know, this are, there are some misunderstandings here, and we could just clear it up if we talk it out. And, you know, it's tough because... You guys just picked me apart, called me dumb. Yes. And, you know, the chair is, I mean, you can't see it, but I'm sitting, I'm sitting the cool way, you know? Yeah, the I could tell. Oh. Yeah. Um, these actually, I could send you the link after. That's fine. But, but Jeff, let's, let's try to remain somewhat serious here, because I feel like you're trying to charm me with your uh, humor. Charming, yeah. But, no, no, no. And that's, I mean, and that's, but, but like, so, okay. I feel like, first of all, let's just acknowledge you kept saying in that video that Trish is the reason that the article said that you got alcohol. The witnesses, okay. two witnesses yeah. there said that you came back with Todd with alcohol. Yeah. So let me start from the beginning. When I first got reached out to by um, Insider, the, the reporter, um, I like immediately I was like, oh, what is this? My name in an article with Dom and sexual assault? Like, I'm going to call right away before I had the facts straight. This was three years ago. So you know, stupid move. You're right. I'll give it to you. That was dumb to call a reporter when I, I don't even know. But I don't think I don't she mischaracterized you either. So I got to stop you there a little bit too. Okay. So when I called her, um, she referenced that she heard from, well, at first I said, I 100% didn't buy the alcohol. You heard that in the clip. Mm -hmm. And then later on in the clip, she said, oh yeah, but I have a video that I heard from Trisha that you said in a barbershop that you admitted to buying alcohol with Todd for these girls. And I was like, I do make fun of Todd for his drinking problem all the time. So that is possible that I said that Todd does drink whiskey. But if this is in a barbershop video that was years later, it, how is it tied to this story here? And this is on paper. Like, I, I mean, I, I did record it. I have her saying that Trisha told her that there was this barbershop. Well, you made this video I, after the article came out. So I don't understand. No, no, no. This this barbershop episode. No, no, was, no. The video, your response video, came out af well after the article, after everyone had dissected it. So I don't understand that anecdote. Who bought the alcohol? Did you and Todd go to the store to buy the alcohol? No, hundred percent no. But you said so Todd had bought whiskey for himself. Yeah. Well, look, I could speak. I could speak for myself, and you know, I was, I didn't. Okay. I know. I know. I go ahead. I can't speak for anybody else. Did Todd buy to himself? Did Todd buy himself whiskey? No. I, to my understanding, Todd didn't leave the apartment. And I know the girls say this, and it's so tricky because was I don't there want to alcohol at the apartment? There was alcohol at the apartment. 
house. Okay, there was alcohol at the apartment. We don't know where it came from. I mean, did you know the girls were underage? No. You said in my the phone call that they were either 20, 20 or 21, 21 years old. Yeah, to my understanding, yeah. So you did know that some of them were underage. Oh, well, it's, it, it's 20 underage for drinking. Yes, that's what I mean yeah. by underage. Yeah. So you were aware that they were underage drinking alcohol there. I didn't know which ones were drinking. Okay. You know. Right. That's fair. But like, to I didn't. I, I, I got to be honest. Like I, I tag along for these videos, and I know how it looks. I saw your guys' videos where you broke down that vlog, and I'm. I would love to go through it because, you know, this situation was three years ago. So I don't want to come on here and stutter and sound like I'm in a lie because I don't know. I don't remember the story exactly. This was over. A well, I'm thousand. assuming you had time to refresh your memory by now. If you're going to go out and make that whole apology video. But let me ask you this. You say you were there for 15 minutes. Do you stand by that still? No. I was there for probably 30, 45, but I did go home. I didn't stay. Were you there the, the whole night. night? No. So you say you were there for 30 minutes. So he, let me, can he see this photo I pull up, Dan? Uh, you can do a, a screen share. You know how to do that? Well, you can look at the stream, I guess if that's possible. What I have here is a photo at the end of the night taken at 1.18 a.m. from one of the witnesses, one of the girls there. It has in it all of you guys outside, Todd, you, Jonah, David. I don't see the photo anywhere. It'll pop up on the stream. And then what, and then what, what you see here is one of the girlfriends holding up Hannah, who was the victim, because she's blackout drunk, you can see her here being held up right here. And all of you guys there. Now, still don't see it. So, <clears throat> it'll be there in a moment. So, what this proves, and then I'm, I'm assuming you were there when the girls arrived. They arrived around 11, so that means you were there for two hours. Okay. Uh, to my recollection, I wasn't there for two hours. This, I mean, this, this photo this is time stamped at one eighteen a.m. This was given to me directly from um, from one of the people. And that you're was sitting there. next to me at the vlog when me and Jason are still there. We vlogged later that <laughs> night at about eleven thirty a.m. saying we left. Yeah. And it's the end of the night, and that girl's clearly so this being girl, held up. So this is after the the you know attack happened, right? And so so according to the the account of the events, she was puking and clearly very 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 intoxicated. And you guys are all there. So I have a hard time believing that the guy all the guys there including you and David and all you guys didn't know that this girl was like borderline black. Well, I can I I certainly wasn't there when they were having sex. Well, sure. They were in a private yeah. room. You weren't in the room when they no, were No, I wasn't sex. even in the apartment. So you were so, at all. so you left and then you came back at the end of the night? I guess I did come back. Yeah. Oh. I know as ridiculous as it sounds, but I live down the street. My apartment is literally a block away from that apartment complex. So you know. Trisha, you you know how things go with David. He's constantly calling you to film stuff and redo stuff, redo takes. And at the time, like yeah. I regret being a part of that video, of course. But it, if you saw her blacked out, why wouldn't you say, don't post this? Like, I mean, I, you, you say David gives consent to everybody. Everyone's like, oh, David says whatever everyone gives consent to. Why would you not post that? You're 30 and these girls are blacked out. You, you're standing right there with a the girl being like held up. I mean, at the time I was 27, which is not, it's not an excuse, but it's, I mean, I don't remember that. I genuinely don't remember that. It's this like a group of fangirls are given alcohol. I was like, we need to leave. I, I'm not the brightest school in the shed, but I just thought, okay, this is clearly. I did leave too around the time after you left. I did head out. I went home and I possibly came back. And then when you were like looking in the room, you said nobody was in there? No, I didn't say that. I said I, I, I watched him go in the room, but at the time nobody was drinking, nobody was kissing, people were fully clothed, and we were pretending to see stuff. So later on, <clears throat> the author of the article was given a video by one of the witnesses of, of someone asking, David, did you see them? And he said, no, Dom locked the door. Are you aware that Dom locked the door? Were you there when Dom locked the door? I didn't get that far into it. I was already gone. I was gone by that point. 
I didn't stick around. So, I, you know, people are in and out of that place. It's, it's, I know how it sounds like it's somebody's house, but that place is more looked at to David as like a, I mean, Dom lived there, mm -hmm. but at mm -hmm. the time David looked at it as more of like a set where he would just pop in and film and we would all be in and out of there. And, you know, I never really knew too much. I didn't, I wasn't a part of the planning of any of the, any of these bits. You know, like I said, sometimes I'll suggest ideas, but David rarely use my ideas. Um, Are you guys like all in a group chat about this? Because it's so weird. You're so blindly defending them when they're like David's at fault for the most of it. And Todd has his own issues when you're you're not really at fault for any of this, but you're going so hard to just prove I'm crazy. Cat's the worst. And instead of like blaming David, who filmed this, who corroborated all this, who was there for the entire thing. Well, I can only speak for myself, really. You know, I talked to Todd, and genuinely, he told me that he didn't buy the alcohol. And, I, you know, alcohol was there. Their girls drank. I didn't see them drinking. I wasn't there for that. But, again, this is so long ago. It's tough for me to really bring this all together and, you know, play it out. Like, it, it, things were moving fast at the time. We would bounce around and film everything, just constantly trying to get stuff. So even with David, I don't know his story. I haven't been really talking to anybody really lately ex except for Todd I asked him like what's the deal with the situation because I don't remember and you know I know that I would never buy alcohol I, 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 well I, I believe you yeah. but the, but truly I believe that you are you are innocent and that you didn't you didn't create any of the situation I believe that you I mean are... I wouldn't I wouldn't come on here and talk to you too because I know you guys are masters at you know picking well, things apart which is it, it, you, and you you're trying to explain well, I don't I don't think right. your presence is evidence that you're innocent I mean that's that's kind of a uh... If I had anything to hide, I would not come on I here. agree, because I do yeah. think, like, David doing a two-minute apology, like, I even when you called me, I was like, wow, that's like, because he's saying, oh, is he trying to manipulate you? I was like, I don't think so, because, like, you really didn't have anything to apologize for me for. But I do think, like, Todd, you say yourself, if people are silent, they're guilty. Todd and David just being silent for so long until something so serious comes along where you're all losing brand deals. Todd doesn't do shit, so he's I mean, not yeah, losing brand I'm not, deals. I'm not, here to, I'm not here to stick up for anyone. They can speak up for themselves. Well, what was I going to say is, I don't, I don't think you're directly guilty of anything, but what I do suspect is going on is that you're withholding information that would incriminate some of your friends i'm definitely not withholding information i genuinely do not know i don't know how the alcohol got there but even seeing that passed out girl like you don't like what's like you just hung out there and you guys were like oh this is cool like what i don't I, mean, like, I, I, I left and to my understanding some of the girls were 21 and you know like people can get a hold of alcohol it's not that hard to get it's not that sure. tough but to a get girl being blacked out alcohol. especially a fangirl like you wouldn't it's just like it's, it seems weird yeah but i had no part of it i have no part of that like but so I, just I to be clear your story is changing now you left after you were saying 15 30 minutes and now you're saying well i did come back at the end of the night clearly based on the photo so yeah, I guess. The yeah, story's changed a little bit. So at what point in the party did you peek into the bedroom? Like I said, I live, I live, we live in apartment buildings. I live in an apartment in Hollywood and Dom's apartment or ex-apartment where he used to live. I understand. Yeah, you guys are neighbors. So what yeah. point during the party did you peek into the bedroom and pretend Early to see on, I, I mean... So things happen was, fast. Yeah. Because it like, sounds like in the video, he says, we, it wasn't happening, but after some time and convincing, we got him going. So it seems unlikely that in the first 30 minutes, people would be in that bedroom already. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, when, when, I, when I peeked in the room, it was all just pretending to try to act like we were getting something. So the girls, the girls pretended to go in there for the vlog? The girls were in there, but nobody was kissing, nobody was drinking, and nobody was on so each other. So was it a setup, though? You, you're implying that it was a setup. I am, yeah, I'm implying it's a setup. I mean, I don't give a shit. I, I've talked about this before. I've said how David sets up a lot of his bits. Yeah, I think he says it himself. It's like so the girls went in there and pretended to hook up with Dom. You're saying because that's yeah because that's a different 100%. account than than what I've heard from everybody else. Yeah, to my understanding, yeah, hmm. that's that's how it happened. And they these girls they responded to Tom, Dom's you know Instagram story that you know he was asking who wanted who's going to come have a five sum or something with him something you know crazy and then they came over there and then I, I i don't know if they wanted to film i know their plan was to to be in the vlog or film that and again i don't want to take away from the victim because as i'm like 
explaining this story and trying to like voice my innocence, I feel like I'm, I'm genuinely taken away from the scumbag shit that Dom did. And I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm here to voice. I feel like, so if I'm, if I'm believing your story that you left and came back, I feel like you're trying to excuse David a lot in your video as well. But the fact that there's almost no way to excuse David if you believe the girls, right? You believe the girls. You're explicitly saying that. So how is it that you can say that David didn't do anything wrong either? Because he was there the whole time. If I'm to believe that you left and came back, he knew that the girl puked. He knew that the girl was black. No, I, 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 I mean, I can't speak for anyone else. But I, I, to my understanding, I think David left too. I think everybody left and what? then... And then they all came back, back and saw the girl blocked out. That doesn't out. make any sense, Joe. Decided to post the vlog the next day. Everybody sure. left. And look, look, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Everybody but, left and came back for a everyone. photo at I the think, end I of think, the night. I'm sure Dom and a few people stayed, but I think I like, have the, this photos of you guys at the end of the night. How is it? I that probably happens? should have touched up on on this with other people to get the exact story straight. But I, you know, I just everybody. I'd what story it. straight? The truth or not? And that's Dom's apartment. Truth. Yeah, no, like actually, what happened? Because because here's you know, everybody I, at I, the I, end I of the night. One hundred percent do not remember. I mean, I know if I saw what they're saying. It's that the elevators happened. at Dom's apartment. Do you too. feel bad about the joke you made about like, hey, uh, they look 100%, good? Of course. Yeah. But why would you, I just don't understand why you would even do that. Like, it'd be so incriminating. Like, if you knew that this would look bad, why would you even be a part of it? Or, I mean, look, we've all done, we're all humans, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, I'm not sitting here, like, bringing up your guys' stuff that you've done. Yeah, but I own up to it. Like, well, shit, I've said, like, I, you can't, you say you don't, you're 100% innocent. I'm, I'm owning up to it. Yeah, I'm You're not. You started it. your video by saying I'm 100% innocent. I'm innocent to the allegations of I supplied them alcohol that got them loosened up to be raped uh, i'm sorry if, you know whatever censor that dan i know, I know you. <laughs> it's live oh. that's fine yeah. we're not here to uh mince mince words um <clears throat> but you like continue to support dom after this and you knew his vidcon stuff you knew this stuff like you knew that there was bad shit going on when you saw that blacked out girl and you still put him in your videos like i just don't understand how it like all of a sudden I knew now. Some bad stuff was going on and i distanced myself from dom i recently deleted the video and i'm getting heat for that i mean i don't understand that because that's like what anybody would do that's what netflix would do like you you know like i have no problem happened. with you erasing the dom videos that's what yeah, David i'm trying does. to avoid you know any like online but, so do you understand how it looks a little insincere like okay i understand you're defending yourself saying you didn't supply the alcohol and you didn't know this was happening i believe that but to come out and say you're 100 percent innocent that feels to me insincere to, to those allegations I'm, I'm i'm guilty by association because i was there and being a part of that and and i'm fine with that like you know i'm, I'm here to tell the truth but I think I've, that's a big thing. I am too. I've told it. I said that too. I'm guilty by association for being dead. Even the little bit I was there, like it's it's not it's not a good look. And like you should at least take. I think that's the thing. All of you and I'm, you guys all group each other and you say we we we. No one takes accountability. And you guys think you I've do nothing it, look, wrong. I've said it. I've said it. I've I've said that like like I talked to you personally yeah. offline, and you know I told you that I stepped away from Dom a long time ago. I haven't seen Dom in over a year. Um, even when I was texting him, I don't even Why know. Why did you step away from Dom? Just because I heard story. I heard stuff. I don't know the exact stories. Um, did you I, know I that you the victim referred to the text? I did not know about the text. Mm -hmm. I genuinely did not know about that text. David knew about that, it. Yeah, I didn't know. Um, I mean, I'm not up David's ass like every, you know, like I, I'm just, I, I don't, I have my own shit going on. Like that's something that I, I doubt he wants to tell everyone. Yeah, that is going on. You know, I, I know that he took the videos down and distanced himself from Dom, too. And, you know, keep in mind, we all play exaggerated versions of ourselves. It's like I wouldn't say characters, but like everybody has their thing. You know, David, when he met me, his, he, he was uh, he had found out I had been arrested. And that was like what he um, made my character kind of, you know, and whatever it is, what it is like, uh um, I was okay with that, um, but Dom's character was this dirtbag, dirty Dom, and you know I don't know how much is is real and and, and what's not. You know I I talked to Dom off camera and he didn't seem like as intense as he was on camera. Like when he gets into those like real scumbag bits that he would do, and look to David, who's a 21 year old kid, he. You know, that was his friend that he went to high school with, I believe. And 
I guess he thought that was cool at the time, you know. I was never a fan of the sexual bits. I didn't like them too much. I, I don't think they're funny. I don't do them. I make videos too. I don't make jokes like that. But um, it is what it is, you know. Like we we all benefited from David and his videos. So it was, uh, yeah, it was like it was our it was our. I mean, do was, you have anything to say to um? You characterize the author as uh. As uh, you say, she acts like she's doing the Lord's work, but she's really just trying to make money. Do you feel like that's a fair I mean, characterization? Look, I, I'll be completely honest with you. There, the focus here, it to me, is on Dom did a serious crime. He needs to go to jail. That is the, the victim, focus of the article. The, the, yeah, the victim, it, I, I feel terrible for, and I, I, in any way that I could help, I would love to, but I, I like in this situation, I don't know what to do. Um, do you feel it was a fair feel, characterization to characterize the author as a as a liar who's just trying to make money? I, I think so. I think what she did was wrong by putting my name in there with the. Have story. you read the article? I have read the article afterwards. Yeah, bits and pieces. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I read the parts with my own name in it. You have not read I the can't entire. Speak for, I, yeah. I can't speak for other people, so you know, like they they need to handle that on, on their so own. So you haven't read the whole article, is what you're saying? No. Okay. Because I feel that her characterization of you is very uh, factual and straightforward and mild. So when you say to her, "You're a liar who's just after the money," you're questioning in the entire authentic. You're questioning in the validity of the entire article, and I've seen well, a lot of people like taking this. your video that way. I look at it like this. We're all, you know, this is all of our jobs, right? What you're doing now is your job. What I'm doing now is technically, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here explaining myself. Is this, is this a criminal case or is this a... I don't think you... No one's pressed charges or anything yet. Okay. I don't know. So everybody is now, I mean, you have ads on these videos. They have ads on their videos and their insider has a paywall and... There's a lot of money being made off of this story where something horrible happened and the guy who did it is not in jail. And we're all just making content out of it for entertainment now, it seems like. And I'm the only one who did not monetize my video. And, and so I, mine's not monetized I'm, either. My David ones are never monetized. The stuff about you has never been monetized. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I, I respect the that. The fact I, that people are making money has nothing to do with the validity of the article. We're all working, like you said. So for you, I to, think she didn't put the entire story together. Based properly. on what? Based on what? You she, didn't even read the no article. had interviews but mine, and I didn't even remember the situation because I, I, I called immediately off impulse when I saw my name attached to something disgusting. So I, I called up immediately, and I... I she said you I, denied being involved. What more do you want her to say? When two witnesses who were there say that they saw you come in with alcohol. She said, then she referred to a video of Trisha. That was not in the article. Trisha referenced... That was not in the article. It was in the article. It was not in the article. It was in your conversation. It wasn't in the article because she couldn't find the proof of it. The reference to the bar, the the bar, the barbershop conversation where, where Jeff, you, that was. Oh not no, she did. That, she that was in our conversation, but she didn't put that in. That's what my problem was because I said to her, "Yeah, that conversation." She cut her clip right off when I was about to say, "You remember that recording you played earlier?" Yeah. At the end of it, I said, yeah, Todd likes whiskey. So I made fun of him in a barber shop. This is where she cut. No, you're and wrong, said, dude. No. You said in the clip that I was playing, you said she that he back. does drink I whiskey. Said, I said, he does drink whiskey. And that's where she cut. And right after that, I said, but that was in a barber shop episode that was filmed two years after this situation. But the way jokes. you said, I don't think that that delegitimizes everything. She said, you said, she said, is it possible Todd brought alcohol you said i don't think so but he does like whiskey yeah because there was whiskey there so and how is she whiskey. mischaracterizing you because the way she worded it it implied that i was covering my own ass but saying that todd did kind of buy it but i want to protect myself which is not true so why did but Okay, we're arguing semantics, dude. That's not enough to do. To, because overall, yeah. people, even the stuff in your video, people weren't accusing you of doing anything other than, like, I heard that you went to go get the alcohol. The girl said you guys brought back a whole. That was it. That was the extent of your accusations. No one said that you did anything wrong with the girls or anything, which is why I was, she like, surprised. She specifically told me that Trisha told me that you and Todd in a barbershop episode 
That wasn't it. Yeah, but that was not in the article. To buy, buy in the alcohol. That, yeah, she never like put that on record. That's because- why I said Todd likes whiskey. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason I even referenced it in the article. Well, does Todd like whiskey? <laughs> Yeah, Todd loves okay, whiskey. so there you go. And you said it to her and she put it in the fucking article. But the way she So how it, are you going like to justify putting her name out the there alcohol. and calling her like some liar who's just money hungry? That's just that's just a dishonest. That's just not a fair characterization. Well, well, the story here is to me, the problem is Dom. He's the one who did the essay here. And, um, and David, I think I, David. Yes. Very Supply much. Ar- also, David. I, I, Alcohol, my understanding, filmed it. David had no recollection of this. He Except the tag. Ta- come on. You're, you're, he you're filmed bro. it. He was there with the limped out girl. He went back to get the closure of the thing. He got the he, text message a year and a half ago. He I removed he the video. The, I thought he faked the shot the next day of that. Yes. And the, So when did this happen? When did the assault happen? The girl, you're in a photo of the girl after she was assaulted, being held up by her friend drunk, dude. All of you guys are there. And you, you also posted it. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, if on. you really didn't know and you see a girl like that, maybe don't include her in the vlog. Her face wasn't blurred in the original vlog. I don't control that stuff. Okay, but David does. <laughs> yeah, David literally controls that. Look, I'm not trying to make you incriminate your friend I, or anything. I just, I'm just, I just saying, uh, look, I think I'm the not, way I'm you... I'm not the guy that's going to speak up for David. Okay, like, fine. David you don't have to speak up for him, but account. don't defend him. You just uh, you credit know, me. Yeah. You, you, know, you say, oh, it wasn't David, it's just Dom. You. I, I, I apologize. I apologize for discrediting you. But look, in all fairness, in all fairness, Trisha... Like we've we've met a few times in real life, and I mean the first time we met, you flashed me, you know, like at this, like one of the time maybe like the third or fourth time I went to go see you, I didn't go see you. I was in the car with David and Jason when they drove to visit you in the hospital. I don't know if you're comfortable talking about this, but which I just don't know why you were there for that. I don't know why David was there for that. They just wanted to rush to see you, and I was with them. We were out vlogging and trying to get content. I mean, okay. And they rushed there to get their. Also, the possible. flashing was and consensual. Don't make it seem like I just exposed myself to you guys. I'm like, he's like, do you guys want to see Trisha's boobs? Don't act like I was just like, Ugh, you know, here's like my boobs. That wasn't. They asked. You, we asked permission. It wasn't like I just David did that. Asked. Huh? Maybe David asked. But you guys, they asked you guys. I wasn't going to just, anyways. I, didn't, I would never ask to see Jason's girlfriend's boobs. No, you didn't ask to see them. He's like, can Trisha flash you? And you guys were like, yeah. No, Trisha, I would not. I would okay. never ask. I, 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 I remember in the video, I was like, I right. please do not. I just, just like you not, came back. It's, you. Right. it's about that you're my friend's girlfriend. Right, right, right. Um, and then like, yeah, the time at the hospital is, it's, it's a serious thing. You are, you're at a low place and you look much better now, but I didn't go in there and see you even, but I'm just saying from those times I stayed out in the lobby and I, I, like, you know, I just tagged along cause they wanted to rush there and get But why discredit me in these? What, because I flashed you because I was in a hospital. Now I am not a credible source that I didn't. Because the, um, I mean, you were Declared 5150 that night, correct? Because I overdosed. You get 5150 if you're attempted suicide. Yeah. It's not because I'm crazy as I try to kill myself. So then when you you started making videos and stuff about Jason, I only heard Jason's side of the story where he tried to avoid any uh, contact with you at all because you were suicidal. And he, he, we fucked for four months after I was at Coachella. You were, no, I was at the house in Coachella. How do you think I got down that? I don't, I, I didn't know this. I you think I just showed, showed up? up the house. I heard you showed up at the house and j- you just popped up. I can't uh-huh. control what everybody, like this is just but what I hear. you're I don't discrediting know me by witnessing this because I tried to kill myself. You're like, well, just try to kill myself, so don't listen to what she has to say. No, I, I'm, I'm apologizing for that. I'm apologizing for discrediting you. I'm just explaining why at first I did discredit you because after that, then the Starbucks situation happened and at that time, I didn't know. I, I, I know you guys had a nasty breakup. You drove your car into his house and stuff like that. So I just didn't want to be involved. And I saw you and I, I, I left because I didn't want to have an interaction with you at all because of all the stuff that had happened afterwards. And, you know, I, I, that's just me. Being but do you think that's why I, I corroborated the story when I got reached out to for comment? You at, think I'm doing this as at, like a vendetta? Time? At the time, I, I did, yeah. I thought that it... But I take me out of the good. article. This, these two girls still said you were the one who supplied the alcohol. So if I never gave a comment, it would still have the same story that you supplied the alcohol without me involved. But your only line of defense is to attack me. Well, it was because the article had a story 
from you saying that it was a barbershop episode that not in the article it wasn't in the article well that's what cat said and it's not in the article dude you think you think you would read the article you also okay. <laughs> before I mean, making a whole video anyway listen we're talking in circles a little bit i just want to get finally on the record you have you don't apologize to cat for what you said about her in your video i want to know what what cat's objective is it, is it to get the girl's story out yes because you were such a small part of it. You were literally two lines of the whole article. So the fact that you made this video blew my mind. You know, you, when you apologize, like, oh, that makes sense. You know, you were involved in some capacity, as was I. So you're scared, as you know, as anybody would be. And then you made this video attacking me and Kat. And I was like, but well, that's always, not the I'm issue. Always skeptical of, of, I'm always skeptical of, of these articles that come out with clickbait titles. It wasn't a clickbait they title. Money. They, they charge money for it. And again, I don't want to discredit the victim here, but... But it's like there is money coming from this. Where is this money going? Everything. Where, what, are good. We, what are we doing to help? I know. So, so are, am I led to believe I, that nothing in the New York Times is credible because they charge money for the newspaper? I, I'm sorry. Say that again. Am I le should I believe that nothing in the New York Times is credible because they charge money for the newspaper? Well, I look at it like this. If you are speaking on a, on a case of a sexual assault and your goal is to get the, the story out there for the victim to get her story out and you link it to a celebrity and it makes a lot of money, I think you should use that money and give it back to sexual assault. That's up to charity. the insider. They can't, but you, dude, that's I, a ridiculous case. You can't, as a functioning journalistic newspaper, they can't set up it's an escrow case. account and I start donating to the victims of, of every article they cover. It's just, it's a, it's, I felt, it's look, such I, I a felt, reach. I, I felt guilty for being a part of this and I went and donated to a sexual assault charity. Good for you. I'm happy and, you did that. And I, I'm just trying to... Why to can't you just learn. say that and let it be? Why do you have to, like, attack me and Kat? Because that goes a long way if you're like, this is something disgusting. I was a part of more than Todd has said, more than David has said. David didn't even acknowledge her in the apology. And it's, you've done more by donating, by talking about it, by, you know, making a video about it. And if you just well, that's kept... what I wanted to come on here to do. And I thought that we could talk this out and, and we could find a way to use our platforms to help. Um, and in, in any way, if it's just... Like when I tried to, you cut right before I shared the article about Insider and how I actually feel about this. I've talked with actual sexual uh, uh. SA victims and, you know, I, I didn't spend time reading this specific article, but I did my research and I feel like I'm trying to learn here in this situation. My guilt is only by association in that, in that bit, just by Going Listen, I, again, I think I think you're, from what I can tell, a good dude. I don't think you nest you you're. I understand that you feel bad, and I believe that like you didn't have anything to do with the events that, as they unfolded. I think the intent of the author was to first of all talk about Dom, first of all talk about David, how he enabled it, and the culture of the entire vlog squad, which unfortunately you are a member of, how it, it all acts to enable this kind of thing, which I don't know if you've been following, but there's more and more yeah. videos of girls saying similar stuff happened to them like this for, through the vlog squad. Now, nobody's directly saying you did yeah, anything, everybody okay? under this but I'm just squad, saying uh, that uh, like umbrella for, this is, whole is now going down, but like, uh, I'm, you know, for me, morally, I feel like I'm, I'm completely innocent. And now this whole thing is crashing down. And I understand it's because my name was put in this by this reporter. So that's why maybe I, I have. But the oh, vlog I, itself, your association, even if it was a joke and you guys were faking okay. it, like you should have sponsorships taken away for you, like peeking in on someone having sex. That's not consenting. Even if it was a They're joke, it doesn't sex. look like a joke. I, 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 didn't, I, I did not peek in on them having sex. Or faking it. In. You faked it. I faked, faked peeking in. Why would What's you do that? What's the difference to yeah, the viewer? Oh, Trisha, I mean, why, did, why have you guys done the things that you have done we make mistakes you know i'm not going to get into that's detail, fine i'm but... happy with you owning the mistakes i just don't yeah. understand why listen i i hear you i feel i'm sorry for all the things you're going through and everything i hope that that you know you can just push forward and everything's gonna be okay with you i think that you don't deserve to be canceled and i hope that you can just keep doing your show and i know your fans are going to keep supporting you and i hope that you know in time you can get through this and stay strong and this doesn't destroy your career i don't think that it will that being said well I, I before I, I end before i end i just took a minute to think about this situation with this reporter yeah i understand she doesn't run insider um i apologize for 
putting her like I threw that video together quick and I just felt like I needed like I was being accused of these things. I had my mom texted me. She was worried that my name was linked in this stuff. And um, I was just like, you know, it was impulsive to put out a video like that so quick. So there were things that weren't perfect in it and you just chewed it apart. But I don't even think we got to the part where, oh, yeah, you did. I, I, I apologize for putting her name, her Twitter up because I wanted to send people to attack her. That was wrong and that came off wrong and I apologize for that. But as far as the wording of the story, it, I would have appreciated it if it was a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. I guess that's why you just don't talk to reporters and that's why nobody's speaking but me. But I felt that if, if I came on here and just genuinely talked from the heart that I would be able to show that I am a good person. I had nothing to do with the sexual assault. I had nothing to do with the, with anything that happened inside of that bedroom. When I peeked in, it was a faked bit, and the sweaty part after it was a, a faked, a setup shot after the next day. And I mean, that's my story. That's from three years ago. That's what I remember. And I, I can, I can, well, you know. I think, from what I can tell, I agree. I think you're a good dude. And like I said, I hope you get through this and you're okay. But. Um, what what is the goal here? Because uh, for me, it's to try to help sexual assault victims. Genuinely, I, that's genuinely what I'm I'm here for. And you know, I, well, it's, well, well, what you, well, what you're doing when you question the motives of the authors, you're basically saying that there's no article that could be about this that would be acceptable to me because they're I was making just money. Saying that if there was a paywall on it and you wanted to get those clicks through doing it this way, so they had lawyers. Law David's lawyers were threatening them nonstop. They have. I don't know. I, I don't know this stuff. Well, you act like I'm, I'm with David every day. Well, I it's have, in the I, article. Uh, if you would have fucking read the article. <laughs> okay, Ethan. Um, <laughs> I just think I was just like more of like I just felt like really bad that you were discrediting me because it wasn't even about me. I just think I like I, I don't know why. You so many times for discrediting you. I'm sorry for saying no, that you were crazy. I, no, I know, and I appreciate that. I think I think honestly, just taking it because like you said, you said I, I I'm guilty by association, and that is a huge thing. I've been guilty by association many times. And I think that's just a big thing. I think closure. I think just like people just admitting they did something wrong is a big thing. And then yeah, of course, you saying that at the end of the video is way more than anybody else has done. David taught anybody. So I I'm I'm all for you. I told I told Ethan when you text you know uh, sent me the thing, so it just caught me off guard yeah. this morning. I, was I also like, told Trisha the video that looks I have... really bad. Would you guys mind pulling up the video and we could go through that? Which video? The actual vlog, the deleted vlog. Sure, fuck it. Would you mind? Because I don't mind. We're here. I feel like we've given I mean, you we hell. We might as well dissect it. We dissected we've my. We've given you hell, so I might as well just let you fucking. Call I me appreciate over. you saying something. I appreciate you calling me. Can someone me? slink me that video or highlight? I mean, it it's a, this would be a cringe fest because I'm embarrassed of of how I look in this. I, I I saw it, you know, cut together in many videos I've been watching, especially your guys's. Jeff, you know? if I could just talk to you before you made that video, I would have told you, just say. I'm sorry. I regret being there. What happened was horrible. My, the fact that my name's even associated with something so terrible is just, it's humiliating and awful. I'm donating to this. I'm removing all the videos with Dom. I made a horrible mistake being involved in this even a little bit. I didn't get the alcohol, but you know what? There's confusion. The witnesses, something that you continue to ignore, say that you return with the alcohol. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're not remembering it right, Jeff, and that's fine. But they say it, so you keep passing the buck. Oh, it was the reporter. Oh, it was Trisha. No, it was the witnesses that were there said you came with it. Now, let's say yeah. maybe they're wrong. Maybe Todd got it. Maybe you came in yeah. and Todd got it, whatever. But there's it just, I, I, that's I, I it. That's all there is to it. I, I hate to discredit anyone here in this situation, even the friends. But knowing that I didn't get the alcohol, it's like, how can I even you can't. listen to that? You can't, I, dude. I, I, dude. I can't discredit anyone because it's literally just... Well, uh, I mean, you can go through your bank statements from three years ago or go to the AMP no, and I check said, the security I said, I, I said, what do you want me to do? I go through my bank statements. There's no way that I can prove that I didn't get the alcohol. Exactly. I can but, tell you that I didn't buy alcohol in three... I got sober. A friend that passed away. And I, around the time, I was drinking heavily. And I quit drinking completely. And I've, I used to have a podcast with Scott. And I would talk about how I don't support... You know, like I, I try to help people out with alcohol problems and stuff like that, you know, but I mean, that's, that's regardless from this point, because there were people drinking in the place and working on that then. yeah, you also told me you distance yourself from like David and them. You're not really like in the vlog squad anymore. 
Well, I've been, I, I was in, in a bad accident, so I've been recovering. Was and that in Utah? Quarantine stuff like that. Your eye was in Utah? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't really want to get into but that. But it was but, a David bit, right? It was for a vlog? I don't want, no, I don't want to get into any of that stuff. Okay. okay, I've got the video. How do I share this with Jeff so he can watch it in real time? You have the ability to screen share now. What is it? It's the video that you wanted to watch. Okay. It's of the part, the footage of the party. Yeah. Can you see I it? Just, I can't see. Is this one? Yeah. Okay. And then it's this yeah. one. Okay. Can you see out of your eye, Jeff? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Oh. No, he's here. So you're yeah. fine. You're not. You're not blind. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but you're not. You. You can see. I mean, I don't want to talk about health stuff. Really, this is about okay. the victim and not about me okay. and my own personal life. Jeff, can you see the video? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. These girls over to have a five some, so hopefully I have a five some tonight. Ta -da. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Holy shit! Oh, this is weird. <laughs> the girls walked in and they were like, "Is this the guy we're having the seventh?" <laughs> I have to let you guys know, I don't really not. know any. Of I mean, immediately I was. I mean, I know I'm not being the one accused here, but immediately, even there, you see it. I'm not. Really, this is not a bit. I want Nobody's to be involved. A, well, sure. Nobody's saying that, right? If you just, you know, get the fuck out of here, get her out. You guys are the only ones for me. I don't talk to any other girl. <laughs> After a couple minutes of talking, we've, we've blurred the girls. By the way, if anyone's okay. wondering, yeah, the girls are. Blurred I thought out. my eye actually was really bad. No, they're blurred out. <laughs> it was clear there was no five some happening tonight. You called it. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, look, it, for here, if you can stop it, even here, like Trisha, I'm sure you 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 understand this. We drive around desperately looking for bits, and like here, the emotion in our faces is like, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. This is dumb, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But um, again, this is this is all refreshing my memory because um, I came on here to just talk to you guys about it all and just be honest. So, I, I mean, yeah, I guess you keep rolling. So you left that. <laughs> I, I'm down. <laughs> but by some stroke of luck and master negotiating, Dom made progress. What do you think David meant by master negotiating? What do I think he meant by that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear i guess he's trying to sum up a story in his vlog with voiceover to short and everything how do you convince someone to have sex with you in the matter of uh the course of the uh, evening the girls i mean i i don't i don't want to discredit anyone but they answered a dm that was uh, uh, you know basically an ad for who yeah but that doesn't <laughs> to, that doesn't mean that they consent to uh, I yeah mean, I, I agree i i, I even I take that back. It's, yeah, uh, I mean, the fact that they answered that doesn't mean anything more than they just wanted to hang out with some celebrities. Yeah. So what do you think it means that he negotiated his way to sleep with them? Oh, this part was this part right here was staged. That we were walking into the room, mm -hmm. um, and then I was over there looking into the room. This was staged. Same day or different day? This was the day we were there, you and I. Okay, I'll keep playing it. But there is alcohol. Some time has passed. You guys, David and yeah, Dom, I mean, Dom and the girls were there for two hours. Yeah, I mean, or something like that. I mean, he could have alcohol in his house, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it, Dom lived there, so, I, I, you know, it's not like... But drinking was happening. I don't know why we're watching this. I feel like it's kind of pointless, to be honest. Okay, we don't have to. It's fine. I don't. I mean, I, this part is crazy. well. Unless you have something new to add, do you have something new to add? Is there some specific? No, part I just more? wanted to get. I wanted to get through this and get through the whole story and just you know maybe I could I, I can refresh my memory and stuff. I'll go ahead and watch. It's not that much longer. Yeah. Just, just just for an just, I'd rather just wrap it up. You know, that's. You want to finish the video? Or you want to wrap it up? I would say we fucking wrap it up. <laughs> okay. Because it's it's you know disturbing and I'm sure it's triggering. I so, I, I, listen, once again, I want to reiterate. I don't wish ill for you. I really don't. I think, I think you're going to get through this fine. I know it feels bad and it's traumatic. 
I feel like you did Trisha and Cat Dirty, and that's yeah. it. That's basically it. And I feel like you're covering for your boys. That's about it. I mean, I can I can only speak for myself. You know, they have to cover for themselves. Yeah, I, I think Trisha else. Trisha made the best point too. It's like oh. you're misplacing your anger. I feel like you know what I mean. The person who put you in this kind of situation was not Trisha or the victims or the reporter. I chose. I mean, I chose to roll roll along and you know, and be in the vlog. I wanted to get more jokes done, more videos done. It's our jobs. Um, but yeah, that that wasn't the plan at all for how that went down. Of course, I understand that. And I think that's like somewhat of a success. People think I'm just trying to bring you all down. It's like I just would like I know as someone who's gone through some shit myself, as anybody has, like closure is a big thing. Taking accountability and saying like, hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry, including David, Jason, whatever. And this is such a minor thing. Like you just saying it, like I fucked up. Like that's a to me that's a big thing because nobody in your group. That's why I'm surprised you're even doing this. What, like, when you were supposed to be on Impulsive, I know everyone's like, you can't go on Impulsive. Like, everyone just in that group, I know how it is, because when Josh went on it, he got ripped apart. So the fact that you're on here is, like, I a went somewhat... On impulsive recently. Huh. You did go on Impulsive recently? I didn't. Yeah. Got... What? I mean, I'm going to open up, and I'm going to, I'm gonna like, be clear on what's going on in my life. I've, I've been in a dark spot for a while now, and, you know, I didn't plan on coming out and doing any of this. I, I, the set's halfway done. I, I you know, I, I wanted to wait for the right moment, but... Um, these allegations and once i saw that email i, I just impulsively just called that reporter right away and yeah. i should have done research i should have you know read more i should have read more of the article i only cared about myself to clear my own name so i i, I apologize for that but you know I, I like it's it's like an umbrella of the vlog squad that if david does something wrong then everybody goes down you know, and this is one person who's in the in the squad now that's done something horribly disgusting, and he dragged all of us down too. Because, yeah, of course it's shocking when you get a phone call with somebody you've been partnered with for years and you had a great relationship, and now they're they're asking you that they want to end their partnership because of something so disgusting that somebody else did that I had no idea about. I genuinely had no idea about until I got the email, and then I started asking around, and then you know, I. I found out what really happened and it's, it's just been a rough couple of days. I'm still getting my thoughts together. I understand. And, yeah. Know. Listen, I totally get it. I, I, I'm, I, I wish you well. I really genuinely do. I mean, Jeff is the most you. successful without David. So that's why I was, again, was kind of surprised because you've kind of always been your own entity. So I was kind of like, oh, he, to me, again, I still feel like you're cover, like you're hiding some things, but not to, just to cover your guys, not anything else. Yeah, that'd be you now, Trisha. Huh? And you'd be the most successful without David now. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely crashed after, but I, I think, by, like, again, I, I just appreciate you I talking. I mean, look, we all, the, the, well, the, you know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. And look, you've done some, you've made some mistakes, but look, you're doing good now. You I know, made a lot of mistakes. Happier. I've made tons of mistakes, and I, I yeah. always own up to it. Obviously, going to Jason's house, I am at, I've owned up to. I don't try and sugarcoat it in any way. It's my bad, and it just is a thing. Yeah. But Ethan's um, made a bunch of mistakes. Hey, Dan, hey, hey, Dan hey, even, hey, 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 hey. We're not here to talk about from, that. Uh, <laughs> talking shit before. Dan, <laughs> Dan, Dan I, there's some places in that TikTok boxing match. I, I heard you're a TikTok, right? Oh, you my know, God. Wait, what's he saying about Dan? Good. You're good. You're going to box I'm, Dan? I'm, I'm, issuing, I'm issuing a... He's issuing offer. me a boxing challenge. Uh -oh. uh, no, I, I am not a TikToker. You uh, <laughs> you seem to be confused. I didn't do my research. Maybe you Whatever. Dan. Can... Dan, you have a TikTok? <laughs> no. No comments. I, it was the hair. It was, his hair is just blonde hair. I thought he was a TikToker because oh, he has yeah, hair no, that's AB. You want to fight AB? He's oh, thinking AB. about AB. I okay. think, yeah, you're listen, a little, you're a little listen, confused. Listen, listen. I wish you well. I appreciate that you were willing to come call in and subject yourself to this abuse. So yeah, I don't think we've you. abused them. I don't think you guys are, you, you guys well, are, I, I use that to you're pros at this. Well, you know, you, you guys well, should be, you, I, I feel like at this point, this should have been a criminal case and it should be investigated by, well, it might be, it's a fresh story. I think a lot of times girls are scared. Most people are scared. That's why they don't come out with it up until recently when like big Nick Seth, I think other people are coming out now because they're not as scared of David's power, which he had a lot of power. People saw what happened to me when I left, you know, everyone thought I was crazy and I was, you know, tossed aside or whatever. So people were scared, but I think more people come out now because, you know, yeah, but that's not always the case. And I can speak for that. Like the group, sometimes people choose to leave. 
and sometimes people are they they genuinely do something wrong and i've seen some people that have you know done something wrong and taken advantage of david's name and want to accuse him of stuff you think that's me i'm not saying david's perfect no i'm not saying that's you you're fine on your own you and ethan got a great Uh show here (laughs) i was like i didn't do that yeah um but like for instance i mean i don't want to spill the beans on too many people but uh also i can't just make an accusation and and not back it up um fuck it should i say it here do you guys want dirt or do you want (laughs) yes yes tell us please give us something Uh, fuck i mean it's such a such a uh i mean it's a guy i don't want to have beef with who is it i shouldn't say it go ahead go ahead no it's not brandon go ahead i can't think of any other zane no, Zane, go ahead, I'll Jeff. With. Um, I'll wrestle Zane. Jeff, um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, no, that I like. I've seen you have people on the show here, and not to discredit the other situation with the essay, but um, I know Big Nick came on here, and I mean, I, like again, I don't, I don't want to have fucking problems with Big Nick, but um, yeah, he was, uh, he was caught doing some sketchy stuff and i'll just tell you the story we had like an easter egg hunt vlog on uh you see now i feel like a rat and i came on here to to do something different but uh yeah fuck it i don't even want to tell a story because it's like yeah it's not even my do you want to complete the thought because it might be misconstrued no, i don't want to throw people under the bus i you know i came on here to to just voice my concerns for the victim and and say okay. my innocence in so i think i think i think we've said all that that we need to hear today so yeah i don't I want wish you well i think you're gonna be fine you're gonna make you're gonna get through this just you know do your thing and uh i think you'll be all right and your eye yeah. story, tell it, because I think there's a lot of speculation on it. I read the blog, so I feel like... I know. Should... Everybody has something to say. They think I'm blind. They think I got a glass eye, and, you know... Yeah. Um, it's just... It's stuff that, like, I, look, I'm wearing glasses because, you know, like I, I, I haven't been filming videos because I'm a little insecure about it, so I've just been laying low, and mm-hmm. um, I had some surgery done on it, so that's why, like, when I was dealing with this reporter and stuff... Um, on pain meds and like my eyes stitch shut and I'm emotional and you know that's why I just call when everybody's like don't call just you know well I understand the listen you have nothing to hide or I mean supposedly I would consider apologizing to Kat I think you did her dirty but that's but that I think that's about the only thing I want to say about Yeah, I apologize for putting her name in and saying like look this is her Twitter I I apologize to you for that cat that that you didn't deserve you don't deserve to get a bunch of hate but um there were some things in the article that i just can't you know i i can't apologize to her because she still put in knowing that they were not all right true. well i do suggest reading it and then maybe you'll change your mind <clears throat> i read the part half apologies yeah. Yeah. i got one one and a half all right thank you for thanks. calling in jeff take care all right <laughs> thanks guys nice bye. all right meeting you bye so he didn't read the article our hunch was right right probably a lot could have been avoided if he read the article <laughs> But I feel bad. I do feel bad for him because I feel like he, well, is, you know, a I little do. Bit. I feel bad on a him. On, like, I yeah. feel bad on a human level for right, him right, right. I like, because I know what he's going through. Yeah. But before he makes this epic my truth statement, he gotta fucking get his shit straight. A I think bit. he he's obviously the emotional one of the group because even on the Scott cast, like he's always like come for me. Like he's the one that's like a little fiery in the group. So I think he just got like a little bit heated in the moment but um his and eye dude, and dude i didn't say but you got to take those videos down that the sponsor asked or cut it oh, out yeah. or you got to figure that out bro trust me you just just you can't you don't want that so he did he does he does apologize for discrediting me he doesn't yeah he apologized to you he gave cat a half apology i'll take it yeah you got a full-on you know, apology yeah that was good i guess yeah. I was like, what? What does me having going to But at the same time, what does that mean for his video that's still up for his channel? Where he's basically saying right. Trisha caught, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I hope so, because <laughs> it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Um, if I was Jeff, I would reshoot a better apology and put it out there. Right. I do think he's going through some shit. Hey, you know, it's I thing. I'll say this allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. 
um, is it from a David bit. That's why I wanted him to talk about it because some shit went down in Utah and that's why he didn't want to talk about it. But I read these blogs, these like blog squad blogs to keep up with it. This was oh, in yeah, 2019. You're deep into the yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> or 2020 or something. And they all went on this trip and nothing was ever posted from it. And then all of a sudden Jeff oh, has like this like eye out and it was bad. And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, was it with David? I don't want to talk about it. Which is, again, he had every right not to talk about it. But I think if he spilled the beans on that. That's his story. He goes on impulsive to spill those beans. You should spill them here in front of me. What was he going on about Big Nick? I don't know. I was like, dude, whoa. Wrong one. I mean, Big Nick just said that he felt bullied. I mean, what are, you, what are, what are we going after Big Nick for now? Yeah, just because he, I mean, not saying he, we don't vouch for him. You want Mexican food? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> He said it was the most successful. Path. Thank you. Also, I was successful yeah, before fine. David. I had Shane before David. So. Also, I, th <laughs> I I get the feeling that Jeff is kind of charming and funny. So I was like, stop the bullshit. I kind of know. I like it though. I was kind of like, oh yeah, this is why people like you. Yeah, but like, let's Except not. Except he's going want... for flashing him. Excuse but, me, that like, was a bit that David asked to do. Show your boobs to that. I don't him. want him trying to win over the audience for being charming when like, you know what I mean? I don't mean? think he won over the audience with that. Oh, well, in the beginning, <laughs> but again, I do think that this picture tells a lot, and I believe that he doesn't remember. I don't believe he came, went away and came back. I mean, that seems kind of far. And David too. They all went away and they came back. They all left and came back at this back. perfect moment when the and girl. And here's the girl blacked out, being held up by her friend. Yeah, I think he's definitely taken like, at one eighteen a.m. Yeah, definitely covering some stuff, but. Woo. That's pretty damn. Um. All right. I mean, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. In the words of Forrest Gump. <laughs> Well, his sponsors will come back. He has enough creativity on his own. It'll take time. Thank you for giving me a third wave. I feel like I've gone through. Shane gave me the first wave, then David, then you. Oh, really? we don't have a falling out. Well, we almost did, but we pulled right. through. You're married. You I mean you're marrying my brother-in-law? So it's like we're stuck. Kind of removing the options. <laughs> You haven't effed your cat or I'm anything. I'm not the kind of dude who, like, holds grudges. I like to settle, squash beef, especially with people, like, in my family, which you are not. You're also, like, the most, like, human person. <laughs> Why'd you do it like that? <laughs> mm. What do you mean human? Um, You are really, like, just, like... You know what it is? Is you always, like, defend me. Like, when I was in hot shit, like, hot water from this immigration... That makes David, me human? I don't know. I guess it's not as shitty as the other people who are just, like, bye. Right. Shane's, like, never defended me. He never came to my live shows. David threw me under the bus. Like, so you're, like, the least awful. Thank you. But I've done awful stuff to you. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. I don't care. I've done awful stuff to you, and you've, like, given me second, it's third chance. I, so. I know what it is. What? What is it? Look, I, I understand you as a person and yeah. the, the ebbs and flows of the personality of Trisha, and I take it all for what it is. Well, I'm also in therapy now. Maybe it makes a difference. And also, I'm, like, old. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Let's order some Mexican food. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it good though? I don't know. I just picked some place on Postman. You want to say no? He says no to your Mexican food. Oh, you don't want? No, he thinks that you're Mexican. No. Oh, okay. I, I don't that. cook okay. it. I'm not cooking it. I'm well, clearly, we're the better cook in this situation is me, so we will Stop. not be eating don't your cooking. Don't you dare say it. Bring that shit up now. <laughs> there you go. Got him. All right, let's wrap this up. How long? Okay. Listen, we've said it all. Where's it going? I just, oh. ugh, I don't know what to say about Jeff. Like, I, I feel bad for him, but it's also like, dude, Too I don't know. Too many inconsistencies. Also, buy Me and the Bees Lemonade. It supports the bees. Everything goes to the bees 100%. Yeah, I'm working hard to help bees. We love the bees. Also, Shout out to the bees, folks. Okay. It's not sponsored, but all of this 100% profit goes to bees. We love that. Frenemies merch coming soon. All right, guys. Stop the Asian hate. Report it as a hate crime. Bye. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. <laughs>